we are back with more Resident Evil Village where we last left off we uh we 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 went against a demonic baby that was pretty fun uh we killed a fish guy and uh we saw Chris he was very vague and gave us zero answers to any of our problems like a like an asshole. I don't know why Chris is such an asshole, but you know, maybe he still have has some of his uh his weirdness from fucking Ari Ari uh Ari Six because I think that was the only actual game when he was like a pure asshole. <laughs> he was a real asshole in Ari Six. Um, and what else? What the fuck else did we do? Oh yeah, we fought a bunch of wolf guys. We're uh, heading towards Heisenberg right now. Then we grabbed like a bunch of bullshit. I gotta grab something for like a... I gotta grab something for a fucking chest. I gotta grab the uh, the other part of the tombstone, right? I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna assume Heisenberg's gonna help me out with that. Maybe I get like a power or some shit. That's like, you can now open gates with your magneto power. Or something like that. I don't know. And I'm going to say... I'm going to use that voice every time I use it. Just be like, Magneto power away! But yeah. Resident Evil Village. I just woke up not too long ago. So I am a little groggy. Not tired though. For some reason, I'm very full of energy. And, uh... Did I just see something I can pick up? Oh. The king's order finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold uh, to those heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There's a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony sites with four, with four giant statues. The caves that the mirrors carved on the wall. The stone pillar they call the giant chalice. Was, Jesus used to drink out of that. <laughs> Isn't that like the Holy Grail or some shit? <clears throat> Is it Jesus or God who drunk from the Holy Grail? One of those motherfuckers. I think it was Jesus, right? Anyways. Where did the people who built them come from? Where'd they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. Well, that's nice. That's very nice. I'm still... I'm never gonna get used to how, like, Ethan has to settle himself when you walk. Like, you walk forward, and he takes, like, a step back. I don't like that. That's weird. It makes me feel like my analog stick is being wonky or some shit. Alright. So, we have 18 bullets. We have a lot of rifle ammo. Oh, God. <laughs> Since there's not that many, like, PlayStation 5 games, right? At this point in time, anyways. I mean, there, there are PlayStation 5 games, but since there's not that many, most of the time, the haptic feedback in the trigger, the resistance, it surprises me. It shocks me every time. It makes me feel like I'm about to break my controller. But, uh, yeah, there's some, some real mean resistance in that. Huh. And then we have the knife, of course, which has no resistance whatsoever. I'm gonna have to get used to that shit every time. Wait, okay, so there's resistance in this when you aim, but not in the handgun. That's weird. I'll get used to it. Actually, before we start running around, let me see. We have five of those. We have no handgun ammo. Gunpowder and scrap. <coughs> oh, fuck. That was a sneeze. And I just hit my microphone. Oopsie. Uh, we have some of that. What is this? Slash bangs? I haven't really had any meaning to use slash bangs. Gunpowder, metal scrap. Gunpowder, rusted scrap. I got a lot of gunpowder. That makes 15. Okay. Uh, oh, but it's two and two, though. Alright, I'll just make the one, right? Just to have something extra. All right, time to head on down to the spookiness. Head on to the evil minds. Where's my jump scare? 
Where is it? You know you want to do it, you little bastards. Oh, actually, I have to check real quick. Did I? All right, cool. Make sure that my TV isn't, that the volume isn't up. So the fucking feedback doesn't happen. And, uh, let me check something else real quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually starting to get, like, kind of paranoid about, like, recording shit, especially since the last time this stuff happened. Okay, yeah, all right. All right, the audio should be fine. Audio should be fine. It sounds a little quiet because, you know, this game doesn't make that much noise. But, uh... But you know, you know. If you don't know, now you know. So. And what seems to be going. The fuck was that? Is there a werewolf down here? Like one of the ancient ones? Can't open that. Where? Oh, man. Nope. That's the big guy with the hammer. I forgot you existed. Now, is this a boss fight? What are you doing? Is he gonna throw that at me? Alright, buddy. Why did I aim up there? Oh! Wow. Ethan, please move. I will grab these now. Alright, so this is a boss fight, right? Hang on it. Where? where? There's that. There's some of that. Oh, fuck. Damn, dude. You pretty fucking fast. The hell is he doing? That looks so weird. <laughs> I don't even think I'm doing anything to the guy. Do I get him like hit the wall or something? Do I trick him? That that seems to have done absolutely nothing. What the fucking fuck? I can't even tell if I'm damaging the guy or not. There's blood coming out of him. Not sure if that actually means anything or not. What the hell are you doing up there? Are you leaving? Nope. He is summoning minions. Oh, fuck. Get the hell out the way, Ethan. Still have this, right? Wait, what? There we go. All right, that seems to have noticeably stopped them. Get 
Is he... Okay, he's picking that shit up again. That's cool. He's a cool guy. I still got, uh, two bombs. Oh, Magnum. Hell yeah. Totally forgot I even had this damn thing. Oh, that really, like, shook him. He does not look happy. Oh! I'm hearing noises. Oh, fuck! Ow! Bitch! Let me out the corner. This game really loves throwing your ass in the corner, that's for fucking sure. Give me that. The hell I just pick up, Kim Fluid? I got a trophy. Okay. That was a weird fight. It felt like I, felt like I wasn't doing anything half the damn time. Now what is it? Oh, look at that big ass skull. Crystal hammer. That's fucking awesome. I thought I would get like some sort of explanation as to what that creature was, but it's just... I guess leader of the wolf people. Huh. Because we got an explanation as to what the, uh, like the, you know, the more beast-like variant was. The ancient ones, or whatever the fuck they're called. And that one was just, uh, what's his name, Monroe? He's like, man, I, I put this weird parasite thing in there, and I gave him some wolf's blood, and it went crazy. Now I got this magnum. Shoot it in the face if it acts up. Hmm. Do I need more bullets? I can use this, right? Yeah, they'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I can use more bullets. No one can stop me. All right, Heisenberg. Ooh, here's where the crystals are. Is this where you guys get the the freaky deaky shit? The parasites? I better not see no parasites walking around. That's for fucking sure. I don't want to ever see those things. Yellow quartz. Okay, that's interesting. Come on, Ethan, what's your problem? You can just chip off a couple of these. Make some money. Alright, Heisenberg. Where are you at? You son of a bitch. Oh, look at that. We're gonna learn some type of umbrella shit. Got some money. I like money. Money's good. Oh! Why don't you look at that? It's my little baby Rose. Alright, Heisenberg. What kind of bullshit you got planned for me? Well done, Ethan. Get groovy with your bad <laughs> self. Jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange... In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. See you, Ethan. I swear to God, to get like a, uh, he has, you know, that Elvis Presley about him. He's like, oh, uh -huh, baby. <laughs> Keep on going, Ethan. Sounds like you just had your hammer time. I don't even know how to fucking pronounce that. Get what? Gillymo? 
Hmm. I stole your shit. That seems to be my... I'm going to assume that's Mother Miranda and her child. Because apparently they're trying to bring back her child or something. I don't like that the water's moving before I even get in the damn thing. Okay. What's which way do I go? This leads back outside, it seems, and this leads this just leads down like a dead end. I don't like this. What the fuck? What is this? Take the flask to the altar. Oh, that's what they're asking me to do. So this is optional. Whatever the fuck this is. Rifle ammo. I'm hearing shackles moving and shit. Chem fluid. Hmm. There's a room with free shit in it. I don't trust it. Okay. Implantation notes. Characteristics 21 male silversmith scar from pneumonia results low affinity failed to grow body transformation dropped in condition sent to pasture another lichen okay female no occupation no history illness results death 44 female noble descendant not from the village hereditary blood disease results very high affinity no loss of cognition Able to control blood transformation. Cognition control procedure sent for observation. Huh? Oh, I wasn't even fucking paying attention. Oh, God. Wait, hold up. All right. These are, uh, these are the, um, the four. This is, uh, Lady Dimitrescu, right? Death. Bernadette B. Bernadette B. 21 female, no. It results death. Results death. Well, that's definitely Beneviento, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, is that... Who the fuck, who the fuck is Bernadetta? Or Bernadetta, my bad, not Bernadetta. Bernadetta, who the fuck is that? Results, death. Okay. Is that the, uh, is that whose graveyard that we saw? No history of illness. Hmm. And then M. Which I'm gonna assume is a silversmith scar from pneumonia. Failed to grow, body transformation. Drop in cognition. Sent to pasture, another lichen. I don't... I don't know who this is. It's not... Well, it's not a Heisenberg. So it might be Monroe, right? But I don't think it is, right? I keep calling him Monroe. I'm assuming that's his name. I don't remember. <laughs> at this point. Uh, subject 174, 181. Who is this? Okay. So is Heisenberg the one who does the experiments? Because I thought it was the fish dude. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. 
I'm gonna have to look at more of that later. You son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Bring it on, bastard. Alright, never bite. The hell off me. I thought I'd just be able to, like, stab him up. Go down. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Where the hell am I? Start murdering chickens? Where, where'd you go? Right into my arms. That one's a rooster. I gotta take a fucking. I gotta have a sneeze. <coughs> there we go. I gotta have a sneeze. I gotta take a sneeze. Is that what I just said? Literally? Okay. <laughs> that was cool. I'm a cool guy. I gotta take this sneeze real quick. Oh. Hello. Hello. Really? I'm looking around because I'm expecting to see, like, someone's dead body somewhere. Well, not dead body, but, like, someone's grave. And it's like, you're, here's the reason for everything. You know, here's this. The insignia key. I think there's more areas where I can use this at, right? Am I going to go inside the church? This is the church, right? Am I crazy? I think this is the church. I still can't use the crank for this. Or... Fuck was that noise? Someone stepping on twigs out here. Yeah, I can't use that here. Alright. Um, I'm going check in here. Just hoping maybe like Chris be sitting in here for me. Anything change? Let's see. Nope. It's all the same. You know what I haven't been checking actually? That I forget's even a thing? Uh the journal. Cooking, files, experiment notes, diary. I haven't been checking none of this. Let's see. Maru Murray? Maru I Maru Moore? I don't know how to I don't know how to say that name. I ran into Chris and his goons in the shack by the lake. They seem to be researching something. What are they up to? I had so many questions, but that giant fish turns out it was that dude. He attacked. I need to get out of here. But he said the exit was underwater. Okay. Those waking nightmares I was having was work of Donna. Donna, that's her name, okay. But I admit I'm, I'm worried. The thing that Mia went and told me before, and now I never know what it was. The fact that your daughter's a fucking mutant. <laughs> Alright. Four Lords, Dimitrescu, Donna, Monroe, and fucking Heisenberg. Okay. The woman Dimitrescu return, uh, turned into a monster. She said, you'll never see your rose again. Why can't I, why can't I get that out of my head? The castle looked like something straight out of a gothic horror movie, completely, complete with a giant noble woman and her three witch daughters. But they called me while I was looking for Rose and struck me. I had to bite the bullet in order to get loose. Hurt like hell, too. I was kind of, I was kind of hoping that he wrote something like, damn, she's big. <laughs> like, like, damn. 
That's a that's a big lady. All right. Uh, I'll trust him. Found survivors. Eisenberg controlling the creatures too. I'm just looking at these because I haven't really had a chance to look at it. So was it I? So was it actually Chris who ordered my team to shoot the shit at him? Uh, order my team. I said my team. I've been playing Mass Effect a lot recently. Give me a break here. I've been saying my team a lot. <laughs> I'm like good job, team. I like to praise my characters, you know. I know they're video game characters, but when they get, do a good job, you gotta let them know. Be like, good job, guys. Amazing. You did great. Keep praising them, they'll, uh, they'll do more, even though they can't hear you. Actually, wasn't that a thing in Resident Evil? Oh, Resident Evil. Wasn't that a thing in, uh, the show must go on. Wasn't that a thing in, uh, Mass Effect 3? At least for the Xbox version or something? I think you can, like, shout into the mic and they would follow orders or some shit like that. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, the goat thing. Um, well... I gotta go throw the uh, flask up. Throw the flask in or whatever, right? This is still locked to me. I wish it wasn't. There's gotta be some way to open this. But before I, before I do the final confrontation, I'm gonna run around and see if I can open this. Maybe I just still need to do a... Uh, the stuff with Heisenberg. Um, let's see, yes, I want to go back. I want to go back into here, actually, because we skipped that place. We skipped it because uh, because I thought this would be the optional side, but I didn't. But that's not the optional side. I'm assuming this is then. Campbell's plunder. Which way is it? It's this way, right? Alright, cool. Let's go do that. See what kind of goodness we can get from it. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to be going anyways? The show must go on. All right, I want to see what the hell is in here. Because this is some freaky Blair Witch type shit. You see this? It's like, don't head up, don't head up to old man Jenkins' place. He's a crazy kook who lives in the woods. He'll fuck you up. Oh, well, I guess never mind. <laughs> I was actually excited to go in there. I was like, man, I wonder what kind of creepy deaky shit's in there. Why is there a barrel here? I'm gonna shoot it. I don't know what the point of that is, but there's two of them. I probably need that for a boss fight or something. I probably just fucked myself over, but that's okay. I saw something red, I wanted to shoot it, and I did it. Can't say that I have no regrets. I did what I set out to do. All right, time to throw uh, the last piece of Rose's body, the torso, inside the altar or whatever. I'm going the right way, right? I think this is the way. Oh, hey, Breezy, how's it going? Did uh, did everything work out with your dog? Is it better now? It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Ah, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm, yes. Crystal Hammer, let's see if you have anything to say about this. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. Okay, now then. Perfect Crystal Skull, Yellow Quartz, blah, blah, blah. Crystal Skull. The Crystal Skull. Somebody really liked Anna Jones. There's a lot of that shit in here. 
You believe it's a fair price? Well, I don't believe it's a fair price. You lied to me. Liar. Um... Is there... No, there's no, uh... There's nothing for, like, making... Ammo for the fucking Magnum. Can I buy Magnum ammo? Do you have that for me? Shotgun ammo. Uh, some mines. High capacity. I don't really need any of those attachments. I've been doing fine without them. And the guns themselves are powerful enough. The only one that I really upgraded was the handgun. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. We got in the kitchen. In the test kitchen. Juicy game, quality meat. Ooh, we can make this. Damage taken when guarding is greatly reduced permanently. Oh, I only have... Oh, I need nine. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you starting to feel better? That's good. That's great to hear. Hope it keeps going on the up and up with that. I need nine of that. Shit. So I guess I'm not going to be making that. I can make this, though. No, I can't. I need nine of that. Motherfucker. Hmm. Wait, no. I'm reading this shit wrong. What the hell? No, I do have enough for that. I've had my eye. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. Cook it up, chef. Get ready to put that meat in my mouth. Make it sizzle. Finished. Make it jump. Love for you to enjoy as well. I can't even say what the fuck it is, but I ate it. Ew, you hear how Ethan just fucking like gulps it down? Ugh. <laughs> so weird. On the other hand, your laundry's almost taken out. Wow. It was almost taken out the laundromat by like someone else, or was it like someone going like, "Man, look at this free clothes is mine now." I need to get more fish, huh? It's a lot of, huh? It's a lot of fish dishes, poultry. Hmm. Well, thank you, Sir Duke. Thank you. I'm gonna throw this bad boy in here. And now all the pieces of my baby is is fine and together. Giant chalice. What? Second one the camera showed them putting their clothes in with ours and even put them in the dryer. Oh fuck. Yeah, at my job, there's a dude who always fucking shows up, and he just casually walks in the stores and just starts stealing shit. And it's like the same dude every time. We all know his name. His name's Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. And every time it's like, come on, Maurice, just put the bags down. Ain't nobody got to see it. Just put the bags down, hand it, leave. He's like, I bought these. It's like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't, liar. <laughs> Lying ass motherfucker. You do shit every day. It's like really annoying. I don't get people like that. The worst is that like you you understand if someone's like you know, not not good off by themselves and then fucking they're like taking some shit. But um, where the fuck am I? Supposed they want me to go to the altar. I'm gonna go to the big altar. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. If I go to the big altar, I feel like the game's gonna end. Let me, uh, let me check around a bit. Let me head back to that cannibal's place, because honestly, I didn't cross the river. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably a way for me to get into that house. But, um, yeah, it's like, I don't understand why people do that, especially when they're not, like, you know, there's people who aren't, you know, they, they don't have as much as others. And, you know, they steal and shit. And you, you can be like, all right, you're not supposed to do that. But at the same time, I understand why you're doing it. But it's like people who have, like, the newest shoes to date. And they're just like, no, nah, man, I'm just stealing shit. It's like, come on, man. What, what, what the fuck? Why? 
Does it hurt to be a proper working member of society? Does it burn you like a f like light to a fucking vampire? I was gonna shoot it with the rifle, but then I was like, that's kind of overkill. Shot him right in the ass. I'm sorry, Wilbur. But you taste so good. So delicious. Succulent and juicy meat. Mine, mine. What the hell, crystal fragment? <laughs> Thankfully it was visible and you got it back. That's great. People need to cut their shit out. Oh, what the fuck was that noise? I don't... I don't have any... Oh, I do have some shotgun shells. Okay, I thought I didn't. Whoever's about to act up is getting the bizzle by... Oh. <laughs> well, that's not good. Well, they said this was the cannibal's place. They have a village cannibal? As you think about it, it's like, guys, don't head there. That's where the cannibal lives. The fuck is that noise? Oh. That's a big dude. That was a big motherfucker. Hey, you know, Ethan, it'll be better if you didn't fucking breathe as loud as possible. Maybe he didn't hear you clearly enough. That's a big dude. He's about to get the work. I used the herb to make that. I feel bad now. I could've used that to make some healing shit. You're about to get the business. That's what's gonna happen. Learn how to take Vi medicine. He really said, motherfucker, you just did that shit? Who do you think you are? <laughs> he said, what the fuck was that? Turned around, <laughs> looked at me, said, that guy. Uh-huh, just gonna nuke you to hell. You're close enough for that, too. Right, you wanna step up? Come a little closer? Where? I can't even see. A big ass dude! <laughs> Motherfucker, you're too big for this shit. That's a big ass kid. That's one of my favorite insults ever. It's just a, when you see uh <laughs> when someone like who's grown and they just act in childish, you like you too you such a you big ass kid. The hell you do it? I don't know if its head is his weakness or its back. But move. Oh, what the hell are you growling for? Well, I know exactly why you growling, but still. Are you calling backup? Oh, you're a bitch. Where'd the backup go? Is it behind me? Oh, fuck. He jumped up here. I have a shotgun. I'm not even using it. Bitch. What? Am I dead? The shotgun is so inaccurate. God damn it. So am I, but still. I'm gonna blame the shotgun for it. Because I get more shots off with the fucking pistol. Do I have another, uh... Do I have another one of these? In the chamber? I don't think I do. Oh, I got mines too. Shit, I forgot about that. We have some of that goodness. And then he can run up here. Have some of that goodness too. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to fall. I didn't mean to fall. 
What's down here? Can fluid? I will take that. Come on, buddy. Come on this way. You know you want to? Step on up. You is one durable bitch. Are you are you done? Are you dying? Nope, he's just throwing tantrum. Alright, that's cool. Let that happen. I'm just gonna start nuking him. How do I where is it? Where's my bombs? There you go. Throw that on ya. Motherfucking bird bitches. Look at him! That's a fighting game combo! What the f- <laughs> spinning around? He's like, here comes the helicopter of doom! Yeah, now you're dead. Giant crystal axe, I'll take that. He died as he as he lived. Ugly. <laughs> Alright. Look at this. Look at this decorations. Very artistic, I like it. So that guy was a cannibal before he got all like mutated and fucked up, right? <laughs> They're just like, oh, don't go up to the village cannibal. You'll die, literally. This guy didn't have a good time, that's for sure. You know, whenever I see, like, a hanging, like, skeleton or some shit like that, it just reminds me of, uh, one of the first scenes in the first part of the Caribbean, where, like, Jack's rolling up to port and he sees where they hang the pirates and he's like, oh, damn, they're dead. Man, Curse of the Black Pearl was so fucking good. I can rewatch that movie like any time. And I still love it. It's not my favorite movie, but you know, it's a pretty damn good one. They're making another Pirates, right? I hope they are. I know they're not that good of movies, but you know, if I. You like the Pirates. Just picking up a shit ton of meat and fish. Don't worry, Ethan knows none of this is human meat. Or does he? Oh, there's still stuff in the other room? What the fuck? What'd I miss? If it's ammo, I'll take it. Where... Probably upstairs. What is going on up here? Is there anything hanging in the roof that I gotta shoot down? Hanging up in the rafters. What am I missing? Oh, this. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Now, what is this shit? Father Nicole's angel? Hmm. Well, thank you. Gunpowder? I'll be honest, I'm surprised there hasn't been a snake in one of these boxes. Since this game is all like, Hey guys, remember Resident Evil 4? What the fuck? Out my way. Stand back! You monsters! Oh, fuck. Stop moving! A wily bastard.
want to see if there's anything down here in these waters. All right, well, we got that. And the only thing that I don't have is, uh, whatever the fuck is in the, um, is in the graveyard, right? Because I don't know how to open that. I might actually have to look it up. I don't want to, but it's the only thing I don't have. Is this, because you need this to head over back to Beneviento's place and grab her treasure. But, I don't know how the fuck to get in there. I thought maybe I would like go to the side and cut this open and crawl through or something. Or maybe there's like a secret button somewhere on one of these stones. One of these tombstones. But I don't, I don't think so. I don't see anything. There was only like one thing that I saw that I could like interact with. I think it's this? Yeah. Eva. May your slumber be short. And I'm thinking that's just more of a like story thing. Instead of like some type of hint. I tried shooting these. Didn't do nothing. I tried blowing it up to Kingdom Kong. But, well, that didn't work either. I might just have to look it up. So we can get a fucking move on, because this is going to bother me. <laughs> this is going to bother me, and I sure as fuck don't ever want to replay this ge game again after the shit I went through last night. I'm going to look it up. How do I get the, uh, the tombstone shit? RE8. Uh... Tombstone. How do I how do I grab that? Let's see. Uh, locate the missing slab. Head to the graveyard. Defeat the giant guarding the gravestone. Wait, what? There's like fifty fucking steps here that I completely ignored. What the hell does it say? Okay. You have to fight through a mini boss to claim it. Okay. You'll end up in the large gravesite with a large headstone. Uh, you won't be able to access it until after you've defeated them, which we did. For optional treasure, you're gonna want to make sure that you have a lot of ammo, especially explosive types, for the fur and a few med kits. Treasure won't go. Uh, won't be given without a fight. Head to the graveyard. Find along some new ghouls. A small mausoleum has opened. Wait, what? And you'll find along with some new ghouls. It says it's opened. What the fuck are you talking about? Do I gotta, like, kill things or something? It's not open for me? Do I gotta go and kill some shit? I think I gotta go and it's saying this should be open or some shit like that. Lion ass fucking game. That's what's happening. Well, not game, more like lion ass, uh, lion ass walkthrough or whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to head back towards her place and, um, start killing. <laughs> and maybe that triggers the mausoleum to open. Naturally. I want you to buy this from me. Do you have anything witty to say about this? Oh. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. All right, nothing, nothing crazy to say about that. Cool. Uh, I want you to give me some explosives. Uh -huh. Sold out. I'll take a med kit. I'll take some shells. I saw you eyeing that one. You're damn right you did. Uh, might as well just have it to just to have it. 
this is all an investment. Good okay. Then. Now, not that way. We are going this way. Someone's going to get the boom stick. Because we came here last time. Well, last time we was here, the fucking dead started rising like it was Scooby-Doo Zombie Island. Right? I watched that movie again recently. And whenever the, uh... <laughs> whenever the, uh, whatchamacallit, the dead start rising, they all just had the same sound effect. They just go... And they sound more like they're just tired. <laughs> rather than like, we're dead and spooky. Look at this freaky fucking bridge. <laughs> you figure out it lagged on your end? Oh, was there- oh shit. Was the stream going haywire? <laughs> My bad. Alright, let's see. What am I doing here? Am I going this way? Oh, I didn't even check this out. What the fuck's happening over here? Let's see. <laughs> no, not the stream, just Wi-Fi. Uh, did I say... Um, what was it? Last week, around like Friday, Thursday, Thursday night, I think it was, I was going to stream. Someone's going to be popping out of here. Bullshit. Photo of a strange bird. Oh, that's a beautiful bird. Also, oh, that's a beautiful bird. But yeah, last Thursday I was gonna stream and then I went to I went to my computer and it's like you have no connection. And I was like, what the fuck you on about game? Game? My bad not game. I was like, what the fuck you on about internet? And I looked at my router and it was all red and shit and I was like, huh? Then I went to the the room with the modem in it, and that shit was just ripped out the wall, and I was like, what the fuck? So then uh so then I had to call the Verizon people because I have the gigabit. And, uh, oh, here's Beneviento's little shit. Oh, I was wondering where was that because I didn't see it before. But, um, I, uh, oh, well, thank you. I, um, called them, waited like, you know, usually when you call like your internet provider or some shit like that, or your cable provider or whatever, you wait like fucking 50 hours and then someone picks up because their automated, their automated voice message shit sucks and then they gotta hook you up to someone in India or some shit, right? And, uh, Mistress Donna and her mother Miranda adopted daughter. Wait, what? Oh, she's Mother Miranda's adopted daughter now. In many years, I've never been overjoyed. Ever since child, she was feared to others due to the scraw. Scraw? What did I say like that? <laughs> the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away. Would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made. I'm forever thankful for Mother Miranda. All right, she seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. We had, uh, we had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother. Okay, Donna gave me yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I plant them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I feel lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me that she told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. Oh. I was looking for a reason why, uh why her power, like, why I was having, like, like, why she was, like, a mystic or some shit. She's just using, she's just drugging me up with flowers. <laughs> That's what happened. 
She just gave me some of that ranky danky shit. She said, you want some of this sticky icky? It was really good. Smoke this up. And make your shit jump. Your mind gonna start doing backflips. I just heard someone like moan. What the hell was that? But anyways, yeah. Internet, pro uh, internet provider. I was expecting to sit there for like 50 hours. It took me five minutes. And dude answered. Well, actually a woman answered. She helped me out. Very nice woman. Then I got connected to like some dude. And he's all like, all right, I'll set up the uh, appointment. And then he just hung up on me. And I went, what? <laughs> I went, what? What was that about? So then I called back. And then the second time I called back, I actually had to wait like 50 hours for someone to goddamn talk to me. I was going to shoot myself during the process. Luckily, I didn't. But uh, got in touch with uh, got in touch with some dude. He was very helpful, except for the fact that he wasn't very helpful. Cause he's like, "All right, I set an appointment for tomorrow." And I was like, "Okay." Appointment apparently went through. Got a notification on my phone. Said the dude was gonna show up. So the next day rolls up, and I'm like, "All right, time to get my internet fixed," and hopefully. Because it was Thursday at that time, and I was like, they're supposed to show up Thursday morning. Hopefully, tonight, I'll be able to stream. And then, motherfucker never showed up. Ever. Even though the appointment got confirmed, so then I called again. This time, a different gentleman answered. And he was way more helpful, but like more, more like cynical about it, though. Because motherfucker was questioning the ever-loving shit out of me. Like, fucking, like, like, I destroyed my own internet connection or some shit like that. And I was like, nah, man, it's ripped out the wall. I didn't do it. <laughs> He's like, you sure about that? I was like, what the fuck? What, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> He's like, why are you questioning me where you motherfuckers are the ones that, like, been hanging up on me and giving me, like, fake appointments and shit? So the dude looks up. He's all like, yeah, apparently there wasn't no appointment for yesterday. I'm like, then why the fuck did I get a verification on my phone? What the hell is this shit? He's like, all right, I'll set one up for tomorrow morning. And I went, motherfucker. So I didn't stream that night. Next day, early in the morning, like real early in the morning, like seven. <laughs> Sounds tiring. It was tiring. I wanted to fucking cry. Good thing that I bought and downloaded the Mass Effect trilogy before I had to go through that shit. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't, I would have had literally nothing to do the whole time. And that was on my day off, too. So I was, like, really upset. I mean, I could have used my phone, but, like, the connection would have been a little bit slower because I would have to use data. But my data's not that bad. Oh, my God. I could have been using this shotgun. This shot ain't too hotty. Look at this baby. Makes you feel good. But, uh... Yeah, finally got a dude to show up. The guy who showed up very nice he was a very nice man helped me out very efficient happened so fast and so quietly too because usually they got to drill the box into the wall by the way i don't know how special you have to be in order to uh manage to rip that shit off the wall but apparently the people i live with are so special that they just do it because this isn't this isn't the first time this is their second time doing this shit the second time i had to get someone to come out here and fix that it's so annoying. It's so damn annoying. <laughs> but yeah, the man was so efficient. He was so quiet too. I didn't even hear the fucking drill go on. And I went in there, it was a whole new box, and I was like, damn. I was like, look at this shit. Isn't that wonderful? And now the internet's back to normal. Everything's good. But yeah, I was just like... I also, uh, I'm supposed to be getting something in the mail to help me, like, redo the information on my account, because here's the thing, if you don't have your old phone number, if you somehow change your phone number and forget to, like, uh, forget to, you know, change that on, like, your, uh, Verizon account or whatever, 
and this is for like the Wi-Fi. I don't use Verizon Mobile because I don't care about their mobile shit. But um, if you do that, then apparently getting anything like through is a pain in the ass unless you fucking have a physical bill in your hand, which when's the last time? Except for like rent or something like that or like utilities or something actually really important. When's the last time you got a physical fucking bill? <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. Ever heard of ever heard of did you forget your password? Ever heard of that? Like, that's pretty easy. <laughs> and their fucking email shit doesn't work either. Like, the amount of times I had to sit there on the phone, like, quiet as the guy's like, I'm sending the email now. Did you get it? And I'm like, no. He's like, did you check your junk? I'm like, no. I mean, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, of course I checked it. I checked it 50 fucking times. The email's not coming through. It's never going to come through. Because your automated email shit sucks. Which is weird, because you're a fucking, you're one of the best internet providers in the, the fucking, in the area. The only one that got gigabit around here. I'm not sure if I have Google Fiber around here, but I haven't checked, but you know. It's like, come on guys, how are you an internet company, but you can't even do an email correctly? What the fuck? What is going on here? What are you doing? What are we doing? Where have we failed as a species? I hope I'm going the right way. I gotta go, uh, where do I gotta go? I think I gotta go, yeah, I gotta go all the fuck the way around. Because there's a tractor in my right, in my ray? There's a tractor in my way over here. Uh, am I going the right, fuck. Confusing ass. Stupid ass map. I was going the, the, the right way through here or through here I don't know it doesn't make a difference and then I think I gotta crawl under here right yeah I do it'd be nice if they just made it so that like the tractor in the way would just fucking leave just disappear so I can just walk down the fucking road It's this house, right? Is it this one or is it the other one? Nope, it's this one. Alright. You better not be acting up in here, Luther. For bam Open this door. Happy birthday. Okay. Do I have a lockpick? No. I think I might have a lockpick on me, right? Handgun ammo. Chem fluid. Some. What the fuck? More shit. Huh. Now, where the hell am I gonna get a code? I'll take that. Good thing I spotted that. Now where the hell am I going to get a code from? Happy birthday. Oh. 27.09.17. Oops, go back. There we go. Okay, what the hell is this? Thank you. I also have this. 
which that goes to this, which this should be my new shortcut, because we're going to stop using that shotgun. That's why I didn't upgrade it. Is that everything in here? Yes. How the fuck do I open up the mausoleum? <laughs> what did I miss? Did I open this? I did open this before. Okay, cool. Uh, where the fuck? How do I get back? Fucked up village. Goat heads and shit. Just move this out my way. Just have like a monster come through and just move this out my way. It would make life way easier. I don't know why they didn't do that. Just make a shortcut. There's really no reason for me to go the fucking long way. Like, there's no enemies here anymore, so... What's the point? Just give me a goddamn headache. Uh, this way. Okay, we're back over here. So it said, like, the mausoleum should open up at some point, but that's a fucking lie. It never did. Uh... I'm really confused about this. Let me, let me check one more time. Let's see. It's a village gravestone uh, above the Maiden of War statue. Yes. You'll find along, uh, you'll find along with some new ghouls. A small mausoleum has opened. Allowing you to pick up the fuck. Yeah, mausoleum never opened for me. The enemy is supposed to, the mini boss is supposed to appear when you're trying to put the slab on there, but is there a button behind here or something? Like what? what's going on? It's supposed to say this shit's supposed to open automatically, but it never did, so, uh... You know what, let me, let me see if I can find another fucking walkthrough or something, because this is from IGN, and IGN's fucking useless and incompetent half the damn time, so... Let's see... Uh, you'll also face an angry giant, blah blah, on top of that, Benedict's treasures can be found within certain da 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 Your first visit to the house, something, something, something... All right. After you return from the house, Beneviento, and the tombstone, uh, in the tombstone location, make your way back to the village. If you go on the Maiden of War, walk up to the grave slightly to the north. To slightly to the north. What? So I gotta like I gotta walk in like a certain fucking pattern or something? What the fuck? I gotta like trigger something, like. What's going on here? Off topic, but you like to imagine main characters breaking the fourth wall and reading a game manual? <laughs> That's awesome. Ethan just sits there and he's like, what the fucking fuck? What is this? Imagine if you played uh, Castlevania Simon's Quest and like Simon just pulls out a fucking uh, <laughs> a fucking <laughs> Uh, a walkthrough, and he's like, I gotta hit my head on the fucking cliff? What the hell is this shit? Alright. Let me try this. Let me just put the words not opening. How about that? Because it ain't opening. Let's see. Is it a bug? Oh god, is it a bug? The broken slab crib not opening bug can only be fixed by visiting the village graveyard area right after dealing with Angie and Donna. If players take a detour and go elsewhere first, the, uh, the event that opens the crypt may not trigger. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> really? But you know what's weird about it? You have to come this way after dealing with Donna and uh, 
and Angie. And when I did this, the enemies did come up and I shot them here, but this never opened. So it just never worked for me. What the fuck? Oh, come the fuck on. Are you kidding me? Come on, game. You can't be serious. So it just never worked. It never triggered for me, like, ever. It's not even that I just blatantly missed it. Because I do remember coming up here and, like, shooting up the place. And then I went, huh... Let me check the area out before I even did anything with Heisenberg. And this shit was still closed. Are you fucking kidding me? All right. Whatever, man. Whatever game. You're on your you're on your fucking bullshit. Guess I just can't get whatever that is. Well, actually, you know what? Since I can't get what it is, let me at least look up what it is. Is it just like the ball that I need for the puzzle to get like the the money like, is that what it is because if it's just that then it's fine I guess but if it's like a weapon or something then I'm going to be upset let me see uh You will receive a chalice which sells for money. Okay. Yeah, you just get like a chalice that, that you sell for money. Alright, well, it's not too bad. It's not like a weapon. So. That's fine. What the hell? What was that? It just showed me I can interact with something. What was that about? Am I the only one who saw that? Oh, by the way, while we're here. That picture said there was like a freaky bird somewhere. Where is it? Photo of a rare animal. Family photo. Photo of a strange bird. It seems to be behind the mausoleum. So... There you are, you son of a bitch. Where'd it go? Oh. Juicy game. Eat some bird meat. Alright. What's happening, boss man? Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. I don't have enough fish still? Are you kidding me? Well, what do I need Juicy Game for? Where the hell is that at? This one. Oh, I need another chicken. Damn it. I just don't have any fish. Huh. Well, fuck. <laughs> Finished? Are you sure you have everything? I got as much as I can get, so whatever, man. I'm going to assume this is where I go to end the game. Actually, no, I got to hold up. I keep going back and forth. I totally forgot. I got to sell this fucking shotgun I got, and then I want to buff this one up. Naturally. I have large crystal, yellow quartz. I don't think I'll ever find the rest of any of these, so I'll just... Here we go with this shit. Look at all this. Oh my god. All this money. Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? I don't know, man. I just... You know me, just stealing shit. Taking shit that ain't mine. Where's the gun? It's... This one has my trinket on it, too, you know but I don't care. I yep, I don't need that no more. I got a better one. Make that motherfucker These jump. More than one might think. Hmm. 
Leave this to me. Make that shotgun so powerful. Make it beautiful. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. I don't have any ammo for this, but you know, might as well make it nice, right? And this, you, this has just been putting in work by its damn self. I don't even think I need to upgrade this at all, to be honest. To hunger is to be alive. Hmm. I'll just buy this. <laughs> just to have it. Might as well buy this too. Fuck it. I got a bunch of money that I have not been using. Come again. There we go. Get real prepared for whatever boss lies ahead. He's gonna be walking in. And you'll be like, oh, Ethan, I've waited for you. And then Ethan's just gonna pull the shotgun out and just start shooting. What's going on? That castle is still very beautiful. I wish we spent longer in the castle. That would have been fun. Should have spent the whole game in that goddamn castle. It's the four kings. Ready to cast down judgment upon me. Like it's fucking Asgard or some shit. Look up, Ethan. Oh, I was like, why the fuck am I going down? And what happened to the old crazy witch lady? I'm still going to assume that she's Mother Miranda. She might not be, but I don't know what the deal with that old lady is. We saw her like, what, three times and then she just fucking disappeared. Just keep it groovy, baby. I'm be honest, I totally forgot that fucking Heisenberg was still alive. <laughs> In my mind, I'm like, I went through his area of the game. He's dead now. What if the Dark Souls boss... Dark Souls? Why I say it like that? What if the Dark Souls boss, like the Minotaur, just jumped on the bridge? He's like, get past me, big boy. I didn't think you'd make it past daughter Moreau. I suppose you Monroe, that is how you pronounce that. I was right the whole time. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not a trap. <laughs> I like Heisenberg. He's cool. I want to head to the club with this guy. Heisenberg's the type of guy to head to the club and hold two drinks in his hand and just go, I'm waiting for somebody. <laughs> I'm not here by myself. I'm waiting for someone. Okay. So Heisenberg is just basically Magneto. He's like Bloodborne mixed with Magneto. That's what he is. It also doesn't help that my dog is scratching his cage right now. Zero, what are you doing back there? You weirdo. It's time for a jump scare. Hoorah! Truth hurts, don't it? <sighs> Let me guess. You're saying, take me out like the others, and then he gets to go and save Rose, right? 
Is Heisenberg the good guy? That'd be awesome. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. Tell me I'm talking. Shut your fucking hole! Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's so serious about it. He's like, my bad. You're gonna. I'm not gonna sit there. You're gonna kick me down there. Ethan, you're being played. You think this is a game? I said sit. Yeah, he's gonna kick me down that fucking hole. I'm gonna be down there with the rancor. Super sized bitch. Ugly ass psycho doll. An ironic freak. Don't you feel it? You feel me, baby? Uh huh. It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! Oh shit, the glasses are off. He's serious now. Together, we go save Rose, and we can use her to grind Miranda into peace. My daughter is not a weapon. Fuck you. I'm... Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. Your Imagine if Heisenberg was played by Keanu Reeves. <laughs> they just pulled another cyberpunk. <laughs> I swear to God, if I see Mr. Fucking. What the fuck is that? That's a human propeller. <laughs> Damn it. Move, motherfucker. What are you doing? Oh, you're a bitch. Huh. Jump on through. Climb on under. C climb on under. There you go. A dead, end. dead in my ass. The way he fell perfectly onto this was weird. That's not how gravity should work. He should have been fucking... <laughs> he should have been, like, over there. What was that? I was expecting it to be, like, a fucked up Mr. Uh, what, what is it called? Mr. Salvador from, like, RE4. It was a propeller guy. It is I, the human propeller. <laughs> Fear me. And my magnificent power. Motherfucker's like swimming in the goddamn trash. He's down here somewhere. It's the crane game. What the fuck? Oh, they're immune to headshots? Oh wait, no, you just gotta knock it off. Alright, cool. Ow! Even though I increased the rate of fucking fire, it doesn't shoot fast enough. Porcelain or polycrystal, whatever the fuck that said, it says something. I didn't really pay attention, I'll be honest. I thought something, I thought something cool would happen if I kept looking at it, you know? 
like maybe I'll see the propeller guy just like fucking jump in the air and dive back down like it's free willy. Ugh, oh, I hate shit like this. But I don't see no fucking spiders crawling on me. That's for damn sure. Come on, look up, Ethan. This place is messed up. What the fuck kind of Abe's Odyssey shit is this? Look at this. This is awesome. Oh my god. Someone said, "Hey, man, you ever play this? You ever play this cool little game called Inside?" Look at that. That's what the fuck. This is awesome. Oh, I like that. It's a cool place. Look at this. Oh man, this is. Now I haven't played Cyberpunk, but imagine if you walked in. Imagine if Cyberpunk had an area like this. Right. This feels like something that should be in Cyberpunk. I'm still waiting for the next gen versions to come out. I was thinking on getting the PC version, but I was like, fuck it, might as well just wait for the next gen one. If it'll ever come out. Oh my god. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Shall I choose something for you? No, I'm capable of picking for myself, but thank you. Some new stock. What the fuck is this? Okay. We got a smaller version of it. <laughs> Wait. This is a shotgun? What the fuck? This is a handgun. No, I'll stick with my stuff. I don't think I need to stretch it. Red dot sight. Oh, damn. Now I feel like a fool for upgrading everything. Wolfsbane. This is for my Magnum, right? Yep. Yeah. That's for my Magnum. Extra baggage. Ah, so you noticed that. Of course I noticed it. Now what does this do? This increases just increases ammo capacity. That's it. Oh damn. I thought it'd be like damage or something. Oh no, I think Please I'll be fine. If you'd like to strengthen your weapon. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. I feel like he's getting ready to say, Ethan, do you want to catch these hands? <laughs> Please come again. Have you walked up in a club and this guy wanted to fight you? Do you think you'd be able to take him? I mean looks can be deceiving. I think he I think he fucking knocked me out, I'm be honest. I'd be like, I'm not gonna mess with that dude, that's a big guy. Also, he's got to be pretty fast on his feet to be moving around like this. Either that or he can teleport, which is even more dangerous. Heisenberg's factory. Hmm. Says there's still more shit out here. Did I not? Oh, okay. All right. Well, what did I not pick up? Money. Was that it? That was it. All right, well, might as well have ourselves a little look-see. Oh, here's his little, uh, thing. It's a yellow crystal. <laughs> Looks like caramel. Caramel. However the hell you pronounce it. I don't know, I'm not a linguist. Chem fluid. Is that it? Can I go under this? Where you at, Propeller Man? I know- Look at this evil hallway of doom. I hear ya. Where you at? Gunpowder? It's 
some kind of locking mechanism. Looks easy to break. Do I want to? That was fun. Oh, you're still alive? <laughs> okay. This is like some shit straight out of Silent Hill. You know what? It's directly out of like, what is it? Silent Hill Downpour? Wasn't that the whole, wasn't that whole game you were in? Whenever you went to Silent Hill, you were in a fucking, like, industrial factory or some shit like that. That game was bad. That was a bad game. I need to play it. <laughs> Downpour was a bad game. I need to play it. Go down. Jesus fuck. Imagine if I didn't upgrade the power on this fucking thing. God damn. It's probably stronger if I like wait for it to completely zoom in, but ain't nobody got time for that shit because the enemies move too goddamn fast in this game for that. This is an RE2 where you can take your time. What is that? Hmm, Sub door. I'll pick this up. All right. The hell is this? This Heisenberg? No, this is. I'm. I'm assuming this is just the metal shit they put on the enemies. All right. Chem fluid. I'll take that. Where are you going? You're leading me into a trap, aren't you? Well, I won't let you do that. Big guy. Wow. My aim is just not not it today, huh? Rate of fire is so fucking slow on this. Even when it is upgraded. Looks like not enough power. Open. Hey, buddy. You just hanging out there. Looking beautiful. You just... You just... Hey, being cool? This is like one of those uh, things people put out on their lawns at Halloween where they're like, come on, step up, get the candy. And you know, once you walk past it, the guy's going to start changing. He's going to go, Rrr! start losing his mind. Yeah. Oh, you little bastard. Hmm. <laughs> sitting pretty. Sitting pretty. I'm just pretty sitting. So you messed up with the attrix, you took forever. Oh fuck. Move! That motherfucker's durable. I'm gonna open this. What the fuck? Oh, I need a lockpick. Fuck! Get to work. Start molding. Oh wow, you're taking your sweet ass time, aren't you? You son of a bitch. Relic of a horse. Seems useful. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Did he just give up on me? <laughs> Did he just go, ah, he moves too fast, that one. 
<laughs> what the hell? He said, oh, fuck it. You know, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Oh, squirrely bastard. <laughs> you ran too fast for me. I'm out of breath. I'll just get the next one. I should have stabbed him. I wanted to, but I didn't. The hell is... What the fuck is this freaky shit? <laughs> that looks cool. I need a lockpick. Oh, Magnum ammo. Thank you. I haven't had this in a while. Now the upgrades I gave it is worth a damn. Examine. I'm gonna assume I need a horse key or some shit. It's locked, Wilbur. You can't go in there. I'm hearing bad guys. Where are they? Why are you running slow, Ethan? There you go. Oh, fuck. You can get hit by that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. I almost killed myself. That was interesting. And my way. Ow. Shoot. Oh, I got no ammo. I, I crouched because for some reason, I thought it was like Call of Duty for a moment. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to knife him. I haven't played Call of Duty in fucking years, and I can't believe I still have that muscle memory. That's great. I mean, most first-person games do that anyways. It's like you click in the right stick. Okay. Just, you know, time it. There you go. Seems like a... Fuck. I wonder what happens if I shoot them all. Oh, well, that is not worth it. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm the curious type. Did it. <laughs> am I one to shoot a man in the back? Yes. Yes, I am. shot him in the dick. I did that on purpose. I want to let it be known. Wait, so do each of them have that, or is it just the one? Okay, there's only one that has that on it, but that's cool, I guess. And I'm gonna assume this stops them? Maybe each of them has some shit like that, right? I'll probably get chased by something, and I'll have to run back through this. Let me see. I think I saw a red light up here, right? Yeah. Is that a doorway? That's a doorway. Okay, the other two doesn't seem like they have anything to stop them. They probably do, but... I ain't got time to be looking for that shit. I gotta save my baby. We have the same number of followers, really? Oh shit. 
By the way, hey Laws, nice to see you again. Locked from the other side. How's things been going on your side, ma'am? Or female? Don't mean to assume. Dude? Let's just stick with dude. How about that? How's the game? I like the game. Uh... There's probably a couple of things I don't like, but I think they're more like minimal. Not nothing that really hinders the game too much. Number one, for me, just right off the bat on comfortability, is just whenever you walk and stop, Ethan like repositions himself. And that's just like a little disorienting for me. Not, en not enough to make like, oh fuck. <laughs> not enough to make a difference, but it's just one where it's like, Especially since nowadays, controllers use cheap-ass analog sticks. It's one where it's like, uh... It makes me feel like my control my uh, analog stick isn't working right. It makes me feel like I have drift or some shit. But, nope, that's just Ethan. The other thing is that there's really no reason to wait to aim for your... You know, to wait for your reticle to fully come up. It probably makes your shot stronger or something, but you can just shoot the shit out of them. So it's not that bad. Things been good for you? You've been grinding Donkey Kong Country too? At some point, I'm going to have to play Donkey Kong Country. Because I was thinking about it the other day. I was like... I was like, I'm going to have to... In my mind, I was like, what games would be nice to stream for the future? Games that I haven't played ever, really. And it's like, Donkey Kong Country is definitely one of them. Where I've barely played any of that. And, uh, Paper Mario is one, too, because I've only played Paper Mario 1, and I've never beaten it. <laughs> and then Metroid, Metroid Prime Trilogy, if I can get my hands on that, that'll be fun. This, what is this? This looks like it'll crush me. But, uh, that's, like, way down the line, because I'm still trying to figure some stuff out after this. We gotta do Phoenix right. We gotta go back to that. We're on the last chapter of the third game. And then we got to go back to Conception, our little waifu, our waifu RPG, because when summer rolls up, when summer officially rolls up, which will be next month for me, um, even though it's hot as fuck now, I want to start doing more RPGs, right? Uh... You want to play Resident Evil 4 since you heard it, things were good about it and you've never played it. I played Resident Evil 4 and uh, 7 before this just to get ready for this game. By the way, I might as well say it here now since since I'm going to need to explain it later. But uh, for Resident Evil 7, one of the streams, I, I, I fucked up guys. One of the streams, I wasn't able to save it in time. <laughs> So that stream is gone. It is. It was when I was doing the uh, band footage DLC stuff. So that stream is completely gone, and that will never get uploaded unless I go back and re-record that or something. But the playthrough itself is fine. I have all the videos for the playthrough. All right. Let's see. Mechanical soldier sold that. Sold sold that. What the hell? Fully grown male corpse used, removed heart, and implanted the parasite. Brain dead, so no high cognitive abilities. Attach head gear to the cranium. Alright. Experiment 1, Lichen Fikes, was dismantled and eaten within 3 minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. Reduce lower part of the arm with the... Oh, reduce, my bad. Replace lower part of the arm with a drill. You're rewatching the Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. He may do one of platinum. <laughs> There's a lot of videos I have on my YouTube that I'll go back and just check like what the fuck that I even do here. And one of them one of them that I won't get rid of, but I advise no one to watch at all, is uh the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke because A, I didn't finish it, and B, uh the recordings got lost, and C I, I thought I was the most funniest motherfucker back then ever, and I'm just rewatching. I'm like, man, I'm, I'm the cringiest dude on the planet. <laughs> and my fucking audio for that was terrible, and I was like sick during half of that shit. 
which Ace Attorney chapter I was on again. Uh, it's the last chapter for uh, Trials and Tribulations. We didn't even start it. Like we literally finished the fourth one, and uh, and then we ended there because it was a great stopping point. So we uh we um did the trial with like you know with the uh, Mia and Gadot. All right, let's see. Implants reactor into the chest. Experiment two lichens fight destroy three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability may stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Let's see, it was <laughs> I was cringing so hard. When I have a channel <laughs> channel point. Just for things in this lock, I'll go up. I want to do. Here's the thing: I want to play a Pokemon game, but I'm a cra I'm a crazy son of a bitch. So I'm the type of guy who's all like, if I'm gonna do a playthrough, I gotta play the first game in the series first. But it's like it's fucking Pokemon. Also, that reminds me: at some point when I have free time, I'm gonna have to record the rest of the Pokemon Sword playthrough because that was before I got like the new recording setup and stuff like that, and I just kind of stopped right so i gotta finish that playthrough in itself when i have time uh and then i gotta do the dlc because i haven't even bought the dlc for pokemon sword and shield but yeah there's just a lot of things i want to do uh i still gotta i still gotta finish some stuff to get ready for a persona 4 golden playthrough because i had that on my channel but that was like that was like during the time where my capture card didn't even work properly so i'm just gonna delete all that oh that's a that's a big dude i'm just gonna delete all that and then we're just gonna start from scratch and also that was before the pc version came out so uh gotta run through that stuff i also i also bought some nintendo games uh there's a there's a game for the wii that i've bought that uh I'm not sure how hard it is to find. It's probably not that hard if you look on the internet. But, uh, can I get you to break this for me? No? Okay. Alright, I just wanted to see if we can break it. Oh, you're blind or something. What the hell? He has a hard time seeing? Oh, interesting. Started just a playthrough of Yellow on YouTube and then the laptop got stolen. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, for me, it was when uh, my old PC, like, the motherboard just got fried. And I was like, God damn it. Gonna sleep early right now. <laughs> Alright, that's cool, man. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Get your sleep. That's important. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around so I can shoot him in the chest. But yeah, uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna do Persona 4 Golden, right? You just leave too. You wanted to see where you were at in the game. <laughs> All right, that's cool, man. Do what you gotta do. I got a bunch more to do. I was actually thinking that I might finish the game tonight, but I didn't think that I would be in here. So I thought I would just walk up to the other place, like. Where we fought all the wolf boys. That didn't kill you? You need more? Oh! Are you gonna run or are you just gonna walk? I missed. I missed. Dude, fuck. Move, Ethan. Can you shoot? Oh, I don't have any ammo for that. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Get this shit away from your fucking chest. Trying to get a clean shot, but I can't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This way, Ethan. This way. God damn it, Ethan. Can you stop shuffling? Oh. 
Oh my god, how many shots are you gonna fucking take? Holy shit. <laughs> Have a good stream. Thank you. Hopefully I will. That dude went down like a fucking monster movie. You know, you get in the hallway, they shoot him once, and he like, he stands there, and he's like, ugh. And he looks up, and they shoot him a couple more times, he's like, ugh, 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 and then he falls down. Alright, so, I'm assuming I can blow this up, right? I have, uh, bombs. There we go. Shotgun shells? And what is this? Mechanical part. Mechanical part. Where the fuck? Am I blind? Where'd it go? <laughs> what the hell? I'm missing a cut. Is that not what I just picked up? Am I crazy? Oh no, it's just a. Looks like something used to be attached to it. Okay. Wait, so do I just put the crank in here? No. Backup generator. I need a. What the hell do I need for this? Move for creating a cog. Oh! I didn't even read the damn thing. Time to make that. Come on. Cog mold. There you go. Cook it up, Chef Ethan. Make that motherfucker boil and bubble, toil and trouble. Make that shit pop, baby. Large cog. There you go. All right, video game, tell every creature that I'm here. Screaming it out loud. They're like, guys! Whoa! Such a disappointment. Where? Oh, what the fuck? I Run! Join forces ah! bitch Miranda. Let me through! Truly, truly oh, fuck. Oh, so they're not here. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I thought they would be here. Fucking hell. So I need I Come on. Ah, fucking bitch! Oh, there's too many of you. Oh my god. You should have never refused me. What a freak. How the fuck? Let me out of here. Am I going up? Oh no, that's just a dead end. Okay, cool. So... She came in, uh, tucked them and made, made them her children. Okay. And I guess some of them like the power. Excuse me, sir. Coming through. I would like, I would like to have this, please. Ah, oh, shit. Open up. How the hell do I get over there? Button on. That brings a bridge down. Or an elevator. I don't know what the hell that is. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, this leads over here. I'll take that money. Thank you very much. Oh, cool. So we just did all this to put the generator back on. Well, time for me to get the fuck out of here. Is this where I came from? No, where... Where's this lead? Oh, it leads down here. Okay, this is where I started from. Oh, alright. Gunpowder. I'll take that. Hmm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume the other the other four well not four, the other three children of Mother Miranda uh liked having the power or being accepted. And they were like, Yeah, I can get down with this badness. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be shooting those or if that's just like kinda like a red barrel. Like it's supposed to help me out. Come on, show me your chest. Doctor's gotta examine you. Oh, you don't have one. <laughs> Open up. Let me through. Let me out. Oh, fucking hell. Propeller man. No. Open Nathan. Come on. Use those muscles, big boy. Don't stumble. What the fuck are you stumbling for? That wasn't... <laughs> well, that was surprising. Now, what the hell is this for? Shortcut, maybe? Is, it where th is this where the merchant's at? Oh, hi. Yes, it is. Hmm. Okay. My knife's all like bloody and fucked up. My knife is like really shitty. What happened to the cool ass dagger I had? I've expanded my services. Please come take a look. You did? Naturally. All right. Let's see. What do you got for me? You got some of the healing juices. Hmm. What is this? Silver wood. This is just handgun, right? Yeah, handgun ammo. Hmm. Do I need shotgun ammo? No. What do I have to sell, actually? I've all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. There you go. Mechanical part. I might find the other one, so I'll keep that. Ah. Uh, I think my guns are fine for now. Actually, you know what? I can upgrade the power on this. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Ammo capacity is fine. Rate of fire is fine. Just, just These up the power on this. You don't quite have the cash on hand. I think I'm fine. I'll think I'll make do. I've barely been crafting shit as is, to be honest, so... Hmm... Should be making more ammo. Chem fluid. How much chem fluid do I have? I have seven. I can just use this. I'll have four of that. I'll make two of those. 
explosive rounds. All right. I think I'm I think I'm good. All right. I think I'm doing fine. All right. Everything's reloaded. Uh, what floor are we on? We are on floor three. What is on floor two? Because I don't think I went there. Oh, there's just one, three, four. There is no two. Two never existed. That number is fake. It's not a real number. It's just a... Just a, you know... Just a figment of your imagination. So that's what these things are. They're the Terminator type dudes. Um. Hmm. Got a long way to go. Dude, damn right, I got a long way to go. I didn't think there'd be like a whole like, like thing happening down here. This is definitely going to be one of the longer bits of the game. I'm really interested to see, like, how this will, uh... If this will directly just head up to Mother Miranda after this, or will they give me, like, some breathing room? Can I keep going down here? No, I can't. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. Who could have shit about your family drama? So you guys are just mining. What if I just left you? Okay. There's really no reason for me to go for headshots most of the damn time. Oh, more bombs? Someone behind me? What the hell are you guys mining for? Is it just like for stuff to use, uh... To make the bigger guys? Like materials? I was hoping if I just left you alone. Ow, there's something in my eye. The fuck? How did that get there? What the hell? Oh god, there's something in my eye. <laughs> I think I'm good now. I should be good. You know, when I aim for the head and those things fall off, I feel like I wasted a shot. I'm gonna be honest. Two body shots can just get them down, right? I just shoot him directly in the dick. I didn't mean to do that. That one wasn't on purpose. <laughs> that wasn't on purpose. Whoopsie. Must is a bomb? A lockpick. Okay. Crystal fragment. One of these days I'm going to play a game and there's going to be a jump scare within the vents. I mean, technically they already did that in like Outlast, right? Remember I streamed that shit. Okay. Can I... Well, I was going to, I was going to ask a stupid question like, can I shoot this down? I don't think I'll be able to, to be honest. Unlike Monroe's, like, goop, where you can just shoot that down. Vivianite? Vivivanite? Vivi? <laughs> Vivi, how did you get here? You're supposed to be in Final Fantasy IX. Hmm. 
you know if you if you squint your eyes tilt your head turn around jump up and down and you look at this it's kind of like a ghost right <laughs> just all ripped apart just going Ooh, i'm scary fear me i am the ghost of i was gonna say the ghost of christmas past but that ghost isn't scary that ghost is is weird he's a happy ghost almost like casper casper the ghostly child <laughs> which means he died as a child wasn't the thing i'm not sure if it was ever like confirmed or anything like that but wasn't the uh what the fucking fuck what the hell man you freaky sons of bitches but wasn't the uh I guess unofficial thing that uh Casper died of cancer or something like that that's why I, oh fucking hell let me through big boy I ain't got time to be messing with you yeah come on show it to me big guy Oh, what the fuck? I missed. I already put enough ammo in you, so might as well see what I can do. I already put a lot in you. Oh, come on. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. I'll just take my free shot. Oh! <laughs> I hopped on down, it scared me. Oh shit, the other one's right there. How many more explosives do I have for you? Stop shielding your fucking chest. You piece of shit. Oh my god. Move out the way, Ethan. Ow, it still hit me? Heal yourself. Heal thyself. You dead? Nice. I'll take that. Large crystal mechanical heart. Alright. There was really no reason for me to do that. I probably could have ran past them the whole entire time. But you know what? At least I'm going to get some money. Was it a good investment? Who knows? We'll find out. I like running around with my shotgun. It makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel like a big man. I should shoot those. All right, never mind. I guess I can't shoot that. Or can I? I can. I don't know what it does, but... It's shootable. So, uh... Isn't that reason enough to shoot it? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but bullets hurt it, so might as well shoot it! Oh, look at the pretty colors. Don't know why I needed to do that. Probably needed to do that to get past it or something, right? Oh yeah, there's a ladder right there. Okay. So if you didn't want to fight the guys, you can just, you know, get on past that. Come on, get get up there, Ethan. There you go. Oh, come on. Got some money. Makes me feel good about myself. I have to check. I'm sorry, I have to check. I thought there was like some goodness up there. 
some of that good stuff. Some of that crystal. Or as Cortex would like to say, a power crystal. That's another game I want to stream, Crash Twin Sanity. I love that game. It's a broken game, but I love it. All right. Uh, the Soul Debt Jet. Attach jet pack. Head stabilizers. Greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited fight capabilities. No longer distant fight. Uh, oh, no long distance flight. But now possible to navigate rugged terrains. Oh, hold on. Let me read the rest of that. Attach aluminum alloy shielding to it to protect its chest reactor and expose flesh. Experimentation is proved it is invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Hmm. So there's a ver there's a variant with without like the fucking reactor on it, and you just gotta blow it up. Where the fuck? Said interact with it. Oh, this. Take a drink of my fucking water. It is hot. It is hot in this room. It is a hot room. Do I want to keep going up here? Do I want to go? Oh, look at this. This doesn't even look safe. It looks like I'll die if I even try to walk out there. The, sh the strong ass wind current. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Where does this lead? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Something's gonna attack me when I pick this up. Ball mold. Oh, so that's how you get his, uh... That's how you get... That's how you get Heindegger's balls in your... In your hand. You just gotta cut the balls. That's all it is. Alright, I guess I can go out here. Oh! Oh, fuck. Don't go out there, Ethan. Shit. That was close. There's a goat out here. C come on. Come on, damn it. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Time to shamble yourself on down here, Ethan. Am I just taking a leap of fate? Am I James Sunderlanding this shit? I'll just walk on the edge. How about that? Maybe a giant snake... Monster will drag my ass down. I'm looking at you, Final Fantasy 15. You're your bullshit. Uh, that's some green mist. <laughs> it's coming from the light. It looked like it was toxic. This looks super dangerous. Oh, God. There should never be a fucking, like, turn wheel on top of a ladder. What if you lose your balance? You're fucked. Start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid. And for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. 
Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I mean, that's a lot of tough talk coming from you, Ethan. They already took Rose once and diced her up into little pieces. So, uh, what's to stop them from doing it again? Key mold. Where you at, Propeller Man? I feel like I'm overdue for a visit. There's more? Of course there's more, Ethan. It's a video game. What do you expect, you whiny little bitch? Explosive rounds. They're giving me a lot of explosive rounds. So that means I'm going to have to blow something up. Come on, Mr. Man. Bring it on, Mr. Guy. Bring me that save point. Are you sleeping? Man, you don't wake your ass up. What are you holding in your hand? Oh, an accounting book? How do you fall asleep in a place like this? God, there's still something in my fucking eye. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's still something in my eye. God damn it. God. Ah, fuck. Oh, shit. Ow. Something in my eye. I don't know how it got there. I'm going to need to wash my eye out. Look at those rings. That's a man of status. All right. Uh, actually, how much coin do I have? Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. Listen, you son of a bitch. I don't need your fucking. I don't need your. Your sarcasm, okay? What is this green mineral mind? Might be worth something. I still haven't found the other piece of this, but I haven't been really looking, so. I'll hold on to it. Maybe I'll come across it. Trustworthy, my ass. I don't trust you. I trust you as far as I can throw your ass. Which is none at all. Oh, here's what I need the key for. Okay. Um. So that means we gotta head back down to the first floor. Did I click the third floor? No, I wanna click the first one. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna try and see if I can get whatever the fuck's in my eye out of here. God damn it. I don't know how I got the shit in my eye, but I got something in my eye. Take me to the first floor, baby. Gotta make that key, gotta make the ball. I'm trying to remember what, uh, what the, um, where the puzzle was. At. Oh, oh, that's how that works. Okay, my bad. So I guess I mean actually go to the fourth floor. Take me down here. Down to the pits of hell. Alright. Gotta go make that key. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa, why is it dark? <laughs> what happened there? It's dark. Oh, thanks for thanks for stating the obvious, Ethan. I didn't notice. I'm gonna see something appear at the at the bottom of the fucking <laughs> Oh god. You find the second part of the mechanical in the factory? 
Oh. So is that on the um is that on the third floor? Or is it or is it down here when I was like running through every fucking enemy? <laughs> no clue. Alright, well thanks. Also, welcome. Hope everything's going fine on your end. Really, I missed? Uh... Ow, is this the reinforced one? I think this is the reinforced one where I gotta... blow him up. I'll do it one more. No, I don't think that was the reinforced one. I think it was just a really ugly one. <laughs> is it? That's not the reinforced one? Yeah, I assume the one would be like completely covered in metal. Yeah. Let's see. You'll know the reinforced one. You'll know it when you stare in the eyes of the devil and then he fucking. He goes, I'm here! I'm here to fuck you. Well, you don't flinch. Well, that's a little pain in the ass there, but that's fine. <laughs> he doesn't announce it. He just proceeds to fuck. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to FurryCon. I assume you know the position. <laughs> what? I have nothing against the furries. At this point, at this point, anyone who watched Beastars can't have anything against furries. Let's be honest. We all have new insights now. We're like, maybe, maybe I know, maybe I can pick up what you're putting down. Iron horse ball. That sounds very sexual. <laughs> the iron horse ball. Iron horse testicle. I had to say it. Alright, let's see. What do I have that I can start? Well, first of all, I want to make some goodness. Some of that. Give me some of the juices. Okay, have one of those. How many kin fluids do I have? Four? I would like to have another one of those. Eisenberg key. Thank you. Actually, I want to see the map. Oh man, I'm missing a lot of shit here. What is this lockpick? Switch, switch. Like Nintendo Switch? I want one. You can't keep it from me forever. <laughs> there are two doors that need that key? Okay. I actually want to run down here and see, uh, see what the fuck I'm missing, so. There's the one dude down here that I left alive. I don't know where he went. He probably despawned. Who knows? I'll take that. <laughs> Look at that guy. Lockpick. One of you motherfuckers are gonna get up. Oh, well, there's a reinf- Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Fuck! Did I not hit you? Upper. There we go. Because I know I saw... I saw at least one of these guys without a chest piece. I just ran past his ass. Come on, put it down. There you go. Good guy. What's over here? Looks like something, something fun will be over here. Wolf's Bane, Long Barrel. Oh, shit. I was right, something fun was over here. <laughs> Where is it? Here it is. 
equip. I should actually equip the seat. Oh, I'll, I still only got three shots for it. Medical log. Revitalization surgery. This is my 18th attempt. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy. 20 years old. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. <clears throat> Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart. I never thought I would hear Elvis Presley as a as a surgeon. Kado, that's how you pronounce it. I pronounce it Kadao. I think the voice actor really had fun with Heisenberg. <laughs> that bitch. Carol Baskins. I'll get her. Oh man, what if Oh What if fucking what if Heisenberg was Joe Exotic? That'd be some fuckery. <laughs> He's like, I'm here to get that bitch, Carol Baskins. <laughs> oh man, that'd be some crazy shit. Heisenberg sounds like a drunk Nicolas Cage. Oh man. <laughs> Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nicholas Cage sounds like a drunk Nicholas Cage. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I went there. At this point, I don't know who I don't know who I'm tired of more, Nicholas Cage or fucking uh or uh Adam Sandler. Like they're not bad. They're just a little sometimes they're a little too much. And they're both good actors. That's that's the fun part about that. They're both good actors, but they just like they just don't choose any roles where they need to act really. And half of Adam Sandler's roles is just it's just him putting on a funny voice, something like that. And it's like, oh come on, man. Like I watched the uh, Halloween movie he did on Netflix, and I was like, it's not a bad movie, but it sure as fuck, it's just a movie. <laughs> you watch it and you go, you go, yep, that was an Adam Sandler movie. It was a dude with a funny voice, who, a quote-unquote funny voice, who gets the girl at the end, I guess. <laughs> what else is new? Huh? Huh. Freddy Cougar, is that you? I'm not scared of you. Oh, well, that... There's the fucking... Bring it on, big boy. Oh, come on. Why you got to block yourself? Come on. Come on. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Ow. Fucking bitch. Yep. Put it all over my, my, my good arm. Fuck. I just cornered the shit out of myself. That's hilarious. I can just run past you, but something compels me to fight. I'm gonna put your ass down like old Yeller. Bring it on. Give me a good sight. I only got three shots. Really? I'm mad I missed that one. At that, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not even sure if I if I should accept the fact that I missed that, cause I thought it was a good shot. Like I know I had some horrible shots here and then, but I thought that was a good shot. But apparently, it wasn't the one that the game wanted. Yeah, it looked right. <laughs> I'm be honest, I think this is the only game where, like, I don't really feel right about the shotgun. Actually, that's a lie. There's some games I don't feel right about the shotgun. But this one, the rate of fire is so fucking terrible. 
even when you upgrade it, it's weird. Now, I'm still missing a bunch of shit in here. What am I missing in here? I mean, I don't think it's important, but... I'm gonna head down here and just see. Just check one more time. Fiddle around in the dark. There's something I'm missing down here. Wait. It's like one of his, like, voice logs. But I can't interact with it, so... Fuck it. Oh! Money? Was it money? It was money. It was the money that missed. And now there's something up here still. Is this like... It's not considered connected. Okay. Sometimes they like to put coins in crazy places. Oh. There we go. There's that. Usually I don't... Oh, see. Here we go. That's what I mean with... Ethan, like, keeps moving. I'm not even sure. Actually, is that my analog stick fucking up, or is that just Ethan being goofy? Let me check. Nope, it's just Ethan being goofy. Oh, you have a back piece. Oh, that's why I didn't see it before. You have a back one. Oh! Man, I can just... We can just... We can just, we can just, uh, we can just do that, see what happens. Really? Oh, come on now, that's just my fault. You better die from that, you son of a bitch. There was no reason for me to shoot him that many times, but, you know, it felt right. Hmm. Alright, so I'm missing something in here. Don't know what it is. Missing on something in the t on the table. What, in the other room? Was there a table I ran past? Oh. Oh, thank you. I want to check the other room. Is this the room on the map, or is this a different one? No. Where? How do I get to that room? It's, uh, oh, it's the one next to the elevator. Alright, so I'm not that worried about that. Uh, no, not that way. Where the fuck? Where am I going? This way. Oh, hello. <laughs> I was like, what the hell was that noise? You know, I got some other shots left. You can have them. No. There's a bye. Is buy uh buy two get four free. Ah, I blocked it, you son of a bitch. Oh come on, really? Turn around, Ethan. Well, you know you want some of this. Come get some of this tastiness. Oh, really? You still? Oh, fucking hell. Mines do absolutely nothing to you? Come on, show it to me, big boy. Yeah, 
Ah, shit. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Put my back against the wall. There we go. Don't use the Magnum. I mean, I got no other use for the Magnum. Usually in any other game, I just kind of keep them. But, you know, this game, I feel like, I feel like being dangerous. As you wish. I feel like living. <laughs> you don't know that. I don't know that. It's true, I don't know that. But I played enough Resident Evil games to know that by the end of the game, I still have like 50 Magnum fucking ammo. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should have used this. Because by the end of the game, they're always like, here's a rocket launcher, do it! And I'm like, oh man, you're right. I should shoot him with the rocket launcher. To hunger. Used to be alive. Mm, do I want to buy anything from you? No. No, I don't. No. I feel fine. A good deal, if I say so myself. I oh, totally forgot about this room. Get the... Use the ball. The iron horse ball. Alright, let's see. There you go. Nope, a little bit on the... There you go. Come on. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Let's see what you're... See what you're doing, game. This is the only. This is the only. This is the second one I ever did. Cause I tried to go back and get the one from a uh, Lady Demetressa's castle, but you can't go back in her castle. So that sounds like a sexual euphemism. I tried to go in her castle, but you can't go in her castle. Other way, other way, a camera. There you go. What the fuck? I didn't even. What? <laughs> what was the angle for that one? Hold up. Well, not the angle. I just want to see what the hell happened. Oh, it just went past the point. Okay, it went past it. This is a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little disoriented. Come on. Emma. All right. Come on. This way. Oh, fuck. Saved it. Saved it. Saving it. Saving it. Saving it. Put it this way. There you go. Can't see what I'm doing. Put it in a little train car. You're a bitch! <laughs> I didn't know it moved. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, oh, it's just gonna go for a little ride in the train car. It's fine. And it's like, nah, man, I don't want to do that. It's like you, you thought. You didn't have your ticket. Alright. Alright. There we go. There we go. What the fuck? I'm about to give up. <laughs> I'm about to give up. There's something therapeutic about this, though. And I like it. I like a nice little, little puzzle. It's not really a puzzle. It's just more like a kid playing with his toys. It's like Mousetrap, right? No one actually plays Mousetrap. You just fucking put the stuff in it, so, uh, it goes. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Alright. So you put it a little to the side, like this. And you turn, and you, you finagle it, but you still gotta push it some... Fuck! 
All right, now that's just that's just insulting. You telling me Ethan can't just take the ball and just throw it where it needs to be? <laughs> like, there's a lot of there's a lot of places you can start here. Fucking train car, you son of a bitch. All right. Now, I feel like I gotta move it forward. There you go. Up, oh, be careful. Careful now. Be careful, SpongeBob. <laughs> Do that. Now wait for the wait for the train. Wait for the train. Wait for the train, you son of a bitch. Now. All right. <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? I'm gonna give it like two more tries and if I fuck it up then oh well. I know the cart's moving on its own. There was a moment, there's, that's why there was a moment where I kind of looked at it. Cause I was like, is it moving when I tilt it? But I was like, no, it's not. It's just, all right, last try. It's kind of like, um, if you ever played Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's like the one fucking shrine where it's like, oh, here's the maze. And half the time people don't even like go through the maze with the motion controls. They just flip it upside down and just kind of like throw it in there. Oh shit. Need that, but then you gotta, you gotta tilt it forward. There you go. To the forward a bit, not too much, not too. Keep keep going. There you go. Slow down, slow down, baby. Slow down, big boy. Go, go. You can make it. Oh, what the fuck? Go, go in the hole. There you go. Wait, what? Where am I where am I throwing the ball at? If it stops there. Do I gotta tilt it with the oh god, do I gotta tilt it when it's moving? To like help it along the way? I do. Oh, son of a bitch. Just roll it out? Really? Oh, okay. Cause it Oh, to me it looked like it would like fall through or something. Alright. Other way. There you go. On the last try. Not even worth it. But you know what? Satisfactory. <laughs> it's not Can even worth it. Window shop away. Fucking where is it? Splendid. Do you know it's worth? You let me know if you find anything else of value. All right. Now we have the horse key. We go up on there. I actually want to see. I might need this. Actually, you know what? Can I? Oh, I can't talk to you when the elevator's moving. Shit. I do want to grab some health. I want to grab some of that delicious juice. You put it all over your skin. It's good for you. Rehydrate. Seeking something in particular. Yes, I am. I just want that. Securing goods is more important than anything. Can it have a wonderful? Uh. adventure. I will try my best to. I will try my best to. Open the door. I'm so excited. Let me through. Yay! Did I check the other Heisenberg door? You know what? I forgot about it. I'm gonna be honest. I looked at the mechanical part and my mind just said that doesn't exist. 
other Heisenberg door. Is that on the... Is that on the third floor? Oh, <laughs> you're in a meeting, you can't hear me, but... No, <laughs> you're, you're watching a stream during your meeting. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Uh, wait. This is where I just came from, right? No? What the fuck? There's that. What other Heisenberg door are you talking about? Willis. Zoom in. My bad. What other Heisenberg door are you talking about? Uh huh. God damn it. I guess I'll just run around and check. Little scrap. Can't believe I just left this shit sitting here. And then there's that, which leads over here. Where? This is where I was. There's a... There's a doorway somewhere? What? Alright, well that's... That's interesting. And now I'm... Now I'm getting flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> and then going up the ladder brings me, if I can, son of a bitch, brings me through here, which I can check again. want to check up here, see what I'm missing. Probably like scrap metal or some shit, but you know. It's worth the check, right? Better be prepared than not be prepared at all. Moving on down. It's through here, right? Alright. Hop on down, Ethan. Keep it going. Open up, big boy. I don't know why I say that a lot. I find it fun. <laughs> Now, what am I... I literally came here for one piece of scrap. Are you fucking... Are you fucking kidding me? That's amazing. It's amazing that I did that. Might as well run up here and see if I'm missing anything else. If not, then I'll head back down to the lower levels. See what I can find. There's a big fucking area. There's only like two big areas in the game. It's this and the castle. And even the castle's not really that big. You can go through it in like maybe... Maybe two hours? Hour and a half? If you know what you're doing? Hmm. 
and Lady D will never return to Resident Evil again. <laughs> uh such wasted potential. She can be she could have been the new Albert Wesker. It's like that damn big evil lady. But I let her get away all the time. Want to make sure there's no like crystals hanging about. You know what I mean? They just kind of sit up in the area. Where the fuck? I don't want to. Yeah, okay. So they're not. Where? Where are you? Where are you, you son of a bitch? Whatever item it is that I'm missing right now. Might be like a piece of scrap in a corner or something. I am looking. I am searching. Wondering. Questioning. Let's see. Where the fuck? Maybe it might it might actually just be like a crystal somewhere. Up in the sea up. Oh. Found it. There you go. There you go. Alright, Ethan. Keep on moving. I still think you're a crazy son of a bitch for doing something like this, but, you know. To each of their own. James Sunderland ass motherfucker. This shit relocked itself? That's a safety hazard. Alright. Now, what did I miss in here? Kim flew it. Was that it? That was it. Oh! I wonder if I stood under it and just, like, got crushed. Be like, elevator, give me what Lady Demi Trust couldn't. Make me feel good. Make me feel fulfilled. All right. Everything seems to be hip hop and happening. Behind me? Okay, I'm missing a bunch of shit over here, so. I picked this up. Is this room? This room is clear. Okay. Wherever the hell's up there, I don't even think. That's probably where I come from after fighting a boss or something. Let me run on up here. This itself is telling me that I missed something. Maybe it might be another crystal. Well, it counts it as one huge thing, so... Huh. It might just be the stuff in there. I won't worry about it. I won't worry about it now. I'll, uh, come back to that later, and I'm gonna assume this is the other Heisenberg door. Or is this, uh... Hmm. Open this up for me. Can I pick this up? B storage 1. Come on, bring me that elevator. Alright. 
So there's this, and there's that. And then floor one is through that door, I assume, because we're just going to be going up. Uh, this, this, where? Oh. Okay, here we go. Operating room, and here's the other Heisenberg door. Okay. It's like way the fuck down. Like way down. Like, like you got to keep going down, down. Like, baby, are you down, down, down? Even if the sky is falling down. I like that song. <laughs> it's a catchy song. It's maybe not the best song ever, but it's catchy enough. Uh, so which one goes directly down the basement? So through here? So I'm going to have to deal with big guys again. All right, cool. I can run past them, right? I can outrun them. Thank God, nothing on this. Nothing on this speed. I'm like Sonic, motherfucker. You can't get me. I'm too fast for you. Alright, come on. Oh, come on. Just show it to me. Just show it to me. There we go. I'm hearing another one. Oh, you guys. What? Waste no ammo with you. <laughs> and by waste no ammo, I mean waste all the ammo. Whoa. There you go. Now... Hmm. There's definitely stuff down here for me. Like in here. There's a mine. If I can pick it up. Thank you. There is... Maybe there's some stuff hiding in the corner. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Alright, well. Let me head through here. Hmm. How the hell do I open that? It's worth the shot. Open says me. Damn it. Did I not? What the fuck? Hold up. Oh. Get up. <laughs> Thank you. I need you to open this for me, big guy. Come on. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let me through. Let me through. Fucking bitch. <laughs> he just took it. He didn't even fight back. He just really said, he said, this is my life now. <laughs> this is my life. I accept it. Alright. Let's see. Moving onward. What the hell? Explosive rounds. Well, that's that. What the fuck am I missing in here, then? What the hell? It's gotta be something like hiding in the corner on the ground or some shit. Or, oh. Wait, no. That's just to close that. Where the fuck...
Where? Is there still something over here that I just didn't pick up? I don't think it would be like a crystal or anything, right? I'm actually a little confused here. Alright, whatever it is, I'm just gonna leave it behind. Fuck it. Just gonna leave it behind. Don't know what it is, don't care. Uh, head downstairs. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. Well. Is that worth the headache? I shot him in the dick. <laughs> I shot him in the dick. I missed. Go down. Wow. Aim, please. Come on. Oh, shit. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Go down. Damn it. Ow. Fuck. Bro, am I... Is that just an instant death? For real? What the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? I got my intestines impaled. And, like, spun around and shit. And Ethan's like, nah, man, I'm good. Just put some juice on my hand. It's all great. It's all great. It's all fun. Come on. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ryan. How's things going with you, man? Hope everything is lovely. Good? That's nice to hear. That's wonderful. I'm over here just trying to... See if I can pick up some... Shit I left behind. Come on. Come on. Show me the chest cavity. There we go. He <laughs> just blows up. I like that. That's hilarious to me. Alright. Says I'm still missing shit, but... You know, I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna find everything down here, will I? Oh. This whole entire room that I just didn't even... Care to look in. Flashbangs... Some of that stuff. A, a wire just hanging around. Alright. This leads up here. So I can go... Wait, no. That's not where I want to go. Is that where I want to go? Fuck. Do they both lead to the same way? They do. Where's the, uh... Where's the way out of this fucking room? This way. This door. Down here. There's a whole ass room over here. I didn't even bother checking. I think because I was being chased or some shit. And then there's up here. Which, did I ever even go in here? No, I didn't. This is a... I think there's a room I never even tried to go in. Oh no, I've been here. Okay. I just don't remember. I'm just stupid. That's cool. Oh yeah, now I remember. And then we just run through, go through there. And there's the extra door. Through here? Let's see. There's a door. I'm going towards the door, man. I see it. We're almost there. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys think you're smart. You think you're funny. Well, I'm not laughing. I missed. Well, I'm not hitting you. There you go. Go down. There's no reason for me to do this, but... Yeah. Fuck it. 
Open wide, big boy. Tell me what you... What you want. You dead? You are now. Alright. Let's see what we got. Got some money, some scrap, some money, some scrap. Money and scrap. That's my latest hip-hop album coming out. Make sure to follow me on SoundCloud. That's a lie. <laughs> That's why I don't do SoundCloud. Mechanical part shaft. Well, it's not the only shaft we like touching around here, ain't that right? What is this, a hammer? Is this a weapon? Heisenberg's hammer. Oh, fuck, really? Huh. That's wonderful. I wonder if I, like, walked into it. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna have a boss fight with Heisenberg, but... I wonder if I walked in the boss fight and he said, Oh, thanks for bringing my hammer, and just tuck it from me. <laughs> and start beating my ass with it. All right. And then we're back here again. I took the long way around. That's the fun part about this. <laughs> Through here. Down here. Over the bridge. And then we make it to Grandma's house. All right, man. Well then, feel free to peruse. Wait, stop. Hammer time. Aha. That's all you got to say about it? I thought he was going to say something fun. Like, oh man, you got the hammer or some shit? That's crazy. Ah. All right. All an investment, Ethan. It is all an investment, Ethan. Hmm. I wish he taught me how to make a uh, magnum ammo. That would be nice. I, look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. I think this is the last save I have with Lady Demitrasse that I just overrided. Alright. Let's head up there. We'll deal with Heisenberg. How many... How much ammo do I have for this stuff? I have two of this. I picked up a lot of scrap on my way here, so... Still only have two... Hmm. I have four shots in there. I like to have I like to have at least two bombs on me. <laughs> what is that? What is that he has up there? Gonna need some pistol ammo? Am I really, though? Am I really, though? Listen. Am I really, though? Am I... Am I really, though? You know, just to spite you, just to spite you, specifically, we're not doing it with pistol ammo. You can't make me. <laughs> you can't make me. There's a nice little room in here. Pick up some coins. First aid. See, look at that. I need no pistol ammo. Oh, what the hell? What did I just read? Prototype. Uh, st serum. Sterum. Starum. Sturum. I don't know how to say that. What the fuck? Use a cheap a turbo. Turbo prop. Turbo rope. Turbo prop. Okay, yeah. Use the engine, whatever. Impossible to control. All it does is charge too much. Power output from the reactor. Completely invincible on uh, head-on. But the dumbass manages to chop his own damn arm off on the propeller. Oh, shit. Also issues with overheating from running for too long. 
a complete failure. So is that the one? Is that the one that was chasing me around this place? Voss is fun. What is that? Am I reading that right? Is it Voss or is it Voss? Vos? Is it Vos or is it VOS? What is that? Is that like a knife only run? <laughs> I got everything here, right? Yeah, I got everything. Explain to me, Ryan, please. Because I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Handgun ammo. Village of Shadows. Is that a game? I'm going to assume it's a game. Is it like PC? Console? Please don't say it's mobile. Please don't say it's mobile. I'll cry. I'll break down. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? What happened? Did I do something? Cigar. Miranda. Miranda. Abomin. Wait, what? Abominable. Oh, Miranda is abominable. I missed a complete word there. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed cadows. That's how you pronounce that, right? <laughs> I was just lucky and I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. She still calls me her son. What a joke. I never, f I never forgave her for what she did to me. It's the h hardest mode of the game. Oh, really? See, I wouldn't know too much because I didn't even beat the game yet. <laughs> that crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiments and family. Miranda didn't just change my body. She took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into one of... She can turn into anyone... Wait, what? She can turn into... She can turn into anyone using the... Wait, what? She can turn into anyone. I did read that right. The Megamycite? Megamycite? The trick to that, Brant, Rose? If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, he's pretty interested. He's an interesting body himself. Maybe I can get him to help me out. Interesting body myself? What the fuck you mean by that? Am I a freak? Did Evelyn do something to me? I'm just a normal dude. I used to be a normal dude anyways. All right, Heisenberg, what are you doing? Either Heisenberg or Propeller Man. I don't know who I'm fighting. I'm fighting somebody, though. Let's see. Why the fuck was there no boss fight? Wait, you serious? <laughs> you sure this isn't the area with the boss fight? <laughs> he said, what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> it should be a boss fight in the maze room. <laughs> Completely bypass it. This looks dangerous. You sure they're not gonna like push me back in the room or something? Maybe it just didn't happen yet. No? I just completely skipped it? <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. The chainsaw dude should be there. I, lo I love the game. Mm, do I want to, though? The fuck just happened? D 
Did he not want to? Did he not want to fight me? Maybe not yet. Exactly. See, that's what I said. He might, like, blow me back in the room. Oh, fucking shit. God. What the fuck, Chris? You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch. You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Miranda. What? Mushroom didn't cut off for me. He's still going. Changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Ryan, did the stream cut out for you? Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. So you, sh so you shot my wife? What the hell is going on? All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. You do. You really do. You shot my wife. Hand me that wrench. You shot my wife and you took my child. You do owe me an explanation. You can't just do that shit. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Is there a, uh... Some sort of... Crazy Skip photo mode. Fuck. Okay, hold up. The mind. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. My men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. My stream might have skipped out. You're right. My stream might have skipped out there. I'm not sure. Because the bit rate went down for like a quick second. My men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back together damn straight we will and when i find miranda she's a dead woman all right ethan then you take this and do me a favor try to stay under the radar man chris is a chunky boy by the way i love how chris is like we're friends now right can't turn back so the, yeah, it, it did skip out. Yeah, the bit rate went down for like a quick second. I definitely just saw that. Um, but. Photo mode, quick game. I'll reload, um. I'll reload it, hold up. Which one did I just do? Scrap heat. Where is, uh... There's that. Handgun ammo. This. 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 Here we go. Maybe it won't skip this time. Was there any scrap that I missed? Nope. See, I I thought something would happen because there's like a corner over here that's just like an empty corner, right? Like there's that empty corner. Is it this one? No, it's this empty corner over here. And I was like, I expected something to like jump through, but it it didn't. I don't. 
uh, guys. <laughs> What the fucking fuck? I don't, uh, I don't, I don't understand. Um, I, I, I don't know what's going on. You're saying I'm supposed to fight the guy, but, uh... <laughs> but I see nothing. Nothing's happening. I got a cigar. Like, I hear the wall crumbling and shit, and then there's... There's this over here, so of course there's something supposed to happen. I might have killed him? How? Can you kill him before the fight? Is it possible to kill the dude before the fight? Because I didn't... All I did was run away from it. Pretty sure all I did was run away from it. My game is fucked. You know what? I wouldn't put it past that because fucking uh whatchamacallit? Um the the monastery that was supposed to open after after like uh dealing with Donna and Angie, um, that never opened for me either, so it might just be like a bug. Huh. Well, I guess that's like the second bug in the game I ran across. This isn't even like a disc version or anything. This is downloaded, so. And it's updated. All that good jazz. Um. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> well, I guess I lucked out then. Where the hell? Here it is. You can't turn back now. I guess I lucked out then. I don't... I don't know what to say. Also, I really don't... I don't get how Chris is like, we're... We're all buddy-buddy now. Motherfucker, you killed my wife. <laughs> hmm. Same here? Okay. But I did... But I did say it like... I knew something had to be fucked up with Mia because... Of her crazy exposure to like Evelyn, and then, um, and then in the beginning of the game, when he shoots her, she took bullets like a fucking champ. She just like, like, she got shot in the arm and went, Huh, look at that. And I went, What? <laughs> you should be on the ground, lady. Hound Wolf Squad. Sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the with the mutamocyte, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguises herself as Mia and it infiltrated the Winter's home. Oh. Oh. Okay. See, why didn't Chris say that? He just went, your wife was a B.O.W. Like, what? Why didn't you just say she was Mia? Her objective was clearly kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. So is Mia, like, dead? Did she kill Mia? Or did she just kidnap her? When we attacked, put a little damper on her plan. She mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transports. Uh... Chuck killed everyone on board, took Rose. Things didn't go the way she originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Or maybe when, maybe she replaced Mia when I went upstairs to, like, put Rose to sleep or some shit. Yeah? 
Wait, so Mia is actually that she killed Mia? Turn the rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around and even made of metal slash polymer composite which he can't control. Hmm. The fucking death machine. Leave it to him to make it look like a fucking motorcycle. This is the longest hold prop ever. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I'm a fucking tank. Oh, way to leave, way to leave the fucking... No, so she didn't kill me. Mia's still alive? Way to leave the fucking, uh... The one spot exposed, Ethan. I mean, Chris. I love how this thing has a chainsaw on it. Oh man, I gotta like push down hard on the trigger for that. Oh god. And it like clicks back up. That's so weird. Uh. Um. Let me out, damn it. Bolt's ready, cannon. Oh, shit. <laughs> guard? You guard with the chainsaw? What the fuck? You're like a goddamn cockroach! You think you can take me on? Fine. This will be my wound before I kill the bitch. Let's settle this. Man, a man. Your corpse will be another addition to my army. Come on, show me the bitch. Me too slow. Oh, what the fuck? Shit. <laughs> so this is the power of father love, huh? There we go. Okay. Come on. Fucking hell. Huh? Oh, thanks for the follow, Fizzle. Fuck. But yeah, if you gotta go, you gotta go, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh god, look how big that was. This is completely different from like. <laughs> From like most Resident Evils, the one that I'm thinking of right- Oh god. Can I heal myself at all? No. Fuck, my aim sucks. Come on. Aim the fucking cannon. Damn it. I can't really ready the cannon because fucking- There we go. There we go. Ah, fucking hell. Wow. <laughs> the Duke's Emporium. Restart. Shots were missed that day. <laughs> Feel bad for like, whatever village got hit by that. Before I kill the bitch, let's settle this. Man, 
I guess I gotta wait for like the the thing to completely turn for it to count as a like good guard. Oh come on. I aimed for the middle part. Oh shit. Let's see. He got another meeting. There you go. Come on, Ethan. Good job. Get that arm piece. I'm gonna assume the cannon just keeps him at bay, right? So I probably should use the cannon whenever he's like charging towards me. There we go. Hide behind this. There we go. <laughs> I'm a goddamn freedom fighter. Oh, well, I was going to use that for cover. Shit. Oh, fuck. All right, Heisenberg, come on. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. What the fuck? Oh shit! Come on, motherfucker, die! Don't stop! Oh, come on, why? Gonna murder that boulder punching asshole. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Where am I aiming for the head? Oh shit. Fucking hell. This is indeed a Goliath. It's Ethan, and a bloody demise. <laughs> Are we good? Are we done? Doesn't look like it. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god. Give me something to shoot. You really should have taken my deal. You'll be foiled in the afterlife. Rose's power is won. Right after I murdered the Ram. Oh fuck. <laughs> Damn, Heisenberg, you were cool. <laughs> Crystal Heisenberg, Iron Giant down, Superman.
He should have had a line that said, I am Superman. <laughs> I dealt with Heisenberg. The fuck you think I'm happened? Find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. I've been doing it without you. You hear me? Ethan? Rose? No. Ethan? No. That's Miranda. You stop. Mia? What? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's Why is the tree moving in the background? And mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. Wait, wait, what are you going hold to up. So, Miranda, you're saying that you can turn into anyone? I'm saving Rose. You'd never know. Do can you turn into Lady D? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Listen, you can have Rose. Or Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Sephiroth, it's you. She was the old lady, wasn't she? Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? She turned into Rose the old lady, didn't she? No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control her masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, Ethan? Uh, Fuck you, you crazy uh, bitch! <laughs> calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. She can be our child, Ethan. Just think Show about yourself. it. I can be anything you want me to be. She was the old lady. I knew it. And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me. Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. What the fuck? I will make sure to sample your blood for data. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> Ethan's a mutant, right? He's a mutant, right? I've waited so long. Bro, is he straight up? Is she straight up killed him? Really can come true. Vessel or not, I can't wait. To see my true child again. Okay, Sephiroth. Oh my god. Literally reverse Sephiroth. Instead of I must return to mother is I must return to child. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, <gasps> but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. Okay. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? This could have been avoided. <laughs> All of it. Three you could have just said it's not you could have just said it's not Mia, Ethan. You could have just said that from the beginning instead of, instead of, you don't understand. He shot your wife. <laughs> Go get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. Mira 
of that fucking bicep. Three times the size of his fucking head. I didn't waste any time. There's a, there's a chunky boy. Doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Like old times. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Like old times. We fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. I'm trying to remember, like, all the side Resident Evil games right now. Last time in the desert like is like are some of the people from five here because we we went to like a desert in five right am i crazy there's like a desert area i don't know much about five i haven't played that much of five i've only played a little bit um but there's shala maybe berries here <laughs> anything in my car they straight up just killed ethan e ethan did i just say ethan I thought that would mean something. Okay, never mind. I guess it's just random letters. They killed Ethan. <laughs> he has to be. He has to be some type of mutant too, right? Affected by Evelyn or something. I mean, Ethan's been getting like his gut skewered and like hands ripped off and shit. You're telling me. You're telling me that he's dead? I don't believe it. Now, who the hell are you guys? Take that mask off. Hey, Who are you? BSAA. You've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? Is that Leon? Take that thing out. <laughs> Is Leon with me here? Back, boss. Let's get to work. <laughs> Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. All right, what are... I have grenades. I have... What the fuck? What is... A, fla a flashlight? Oh, unable to use. I don't know how to use my flashlight. What the fuck am I carrying? Oh, God. What is this? Med injector? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this shit? With a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Watch out. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, he just punches them off. Boulder punching son of a bitch. So that means someone here must have connections with Albert, right? If they knew that. Or maybe they read like a file or something. Keep it going, Chris. We'll take this out. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger that. Maybe the merchant will help Ethan, right? He's like, well, he was my best customer. Two guards. I can take him. Don't get cocky. I can take him. No one in the bathroom? Okay. I'm surprised. Actually. What the hell is that thing? It's all mutilicent. Mut it's all mutilicent. Oh, they're fucking up the village. Oh. Large mutated bioweapon sight. 
Take that! Grenade! Ow! Ow, fucking hell. Is that Charla? That has to be Charla. Come on. I'm saying Charla. What's her name? Shala? That's how you pronounce it? Did, uh, I, I never played, um... I never played uh, Revelations, the first one. So didn't Chris work with like a girl named Jessica or some shit? Maybe she's here. I'm not sure if she died or not. What if Rebecca was here? Yes, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Tundra. That has to be Jessica, right? I'm gonna assume she didn't die. I don't know. Tundra. Oh, night vision. What the fuck? That's cool. If I got night vision, why the fuck do I need... Why do I need a flashlight? Why do I need a flashlight? <laughs> the hell's the point of that? Just like, <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. This is interesting. Oh, okay. That's why I gotta go through there. I was like, I don't gotta go through there. You can't make me. Umberize, I need some backup. Shit. Oh, fucking hell. There you go. Blow up. Out of my way. I'm uh, pushing through. Pushing through. Now I'm surrounded. Throw the grenade, motherfucker. My mom saw this shit. Fuck. I'm trying to run past as many as I can. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Lobo? What the f marking the target? Is that it? Got Just a minute. Do I gotta hit it again? Oh. Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck. I was trying to see if I can run past. Okay. Let me through. Am I stuck? What the fuck? Is rapidly expanding. There must be something stimulating. ESA guys are engaged with fire weapons. You're right, Captain. They must be after the Mega Mice C2. Oh my god. What happened to my fucking flashlight? 
I call it a flashlight, but you know. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it, you bastards. <laughs> what do I have? Flash grenades? Stop fucking me up. God. Ow, fuck. Damn, good thing you're durable as shit, Chris. Just point the laser at the target and leave the rest to me. I know to point the laser at the target. There's just too many of them. Alright. And why is this no longer my shortcuts? What happened? Oh, it was. It was at the bottom. Never mind. I'm reloading. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Oh, that's the big guys. Come on. Do it. Finish it. Finish it. Take that. Good. Mega my seat must be below. All right. Whew. That was a pain in the ass. Maybe Chris will get something to interact with that. Hmm. Is there no other like drop off from it? I picked this stuff up, right? Captain, the Mega Mighty is underground. I know it's oh underground. I'm just picking up some supplies, okay? You know? Nice to have at least one grenade on me. I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain. <sighs> I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, it's evolved. No sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. Hmm. Uh. That shit's nasty, dude. That's a big dude. Trying to hold on. Don't think I'll be able to. Get fucking lit up. Are you here yet, man? Shit. Doesn't seem to be really affecting him that much. Alright. Alright. There we go. Slow him down with this. Come on. Damn it. Ah, oh, what the hell? Motherfucker, you move too much. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there. Fuck. 
space is so short. I got no room. Did he get did he get bigger? Okay, Captain. Ready when you are. I'm always ready, man. Better get that dude. You better get him. You better get him. Fucking hell. Oh, I got no healage. Can I craft something? No. <laughs> Fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! There we go. Oh, we got him. No, 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 he's fine, he's dead. Right? Oh, shit. Alright. I'll keep going. The rest Whew. of you stay above ground. Mace. <sighs> you gotta get me some health or something. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. The moldy little bird. What the fuck is that? I found it. It's the Megamycete. And what the hell is that? Alpha the squad. You guys ever played the Grand Theft Auto 4? And like, you glitch your way into the uh... The Statue of Liberty, and there's the Heart of Liberty City. Reminds me of that. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. And where is Miranda? Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. Uh, it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. You really should have. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah, you should have told him. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Stupid ass. We should have told them. There wasn't time. Yeah, there's a lot of time to put 50 bullets in his wife, though. This must be Miranda's lab. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, ugh. Nasty. Nasty little thing. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Hmm. Gross. What is this shit? Is it moving? Hmm. What do we have? Subject name, Donna Benevento. Brain function is normal. Favorable affinity. Although severe mental illness. Physically, she's no different from regular humans. However, she can secrete a single producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamine seed. When humans absorb the pollen from part of, uh, from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadal. I really hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> her cadal among among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. Oh, hmm. Unfit vessel for Evie. Oh, Evie, my bad, Eva. Oh, this is nice. Where's Lady D? You know what? We we gotta save the best for last. Who's this? This is Heisenberg. All right, incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. His electric or his electric organs similar. Wait, what? His electric organs similar to the electric ray. I'm not gonna say that word. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. These electric organs are connected to a subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity. Throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Eva. Became fucking Magneto. 
this one I think that's Lady D. I don't want to I want to save her for last. She's special. <laughs> Affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> the cadaver has caused dramatic changes to internal organs transforming them into organs similar to fish like gills and a swim and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division causing him to transform into a giant fish to subject and Un unable to control this transformation too many defects and unfit vessel for eva now lady d give it to me name alcina demichesk most favorable normal regeneration rate is incredibly fast the subject can heal an ex an ex uh, external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. That means that lady is big as fuck. Note, due to their heredity blood disease, oh, what? Hereditary blood disease, a subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that, okay, so that's why she's a vampire. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. Oh, uh, an unfit vessel for Eva. So that's how we got... Alright. We fucked her up bad enough that her blood made her explode. What's this shit? Is this them finding the mutamized seed? Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love more visit quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose an immortal woman such as yourself, an immortal woman, oh God. You no longer remember this poor half-dead mechanical, uh, mechanical, medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with the organism, positively visionary. I knew that with the knowledge, I would achieve my own visions from the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity, wait, what? And humanity on the cups of another, my convictions never wavered. I realized, however, though the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared that your convictions differ from mine, you hope to bring back a single dead person while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve my exponential effect. Exponential. Yeah, I said that word right. Infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for re reminiscing. I, I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key evolution, the progenerator of the virus, found in Africa. Found in Africa? So, like, the, uh... Like, where the Las Plagas came from? Okay. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, God. Spencer. This is from Spencer. Just like the symbol in the cave we spoke about, I'm one step closer to making my visions a reality. I hope you're able to achieve your goal someday, too. You taught me so much. For that, I'll prefer being your dead sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswald E. Spencer. Fuck! Spencer. Here. No way. Dude, really? Spencer, we talking about like, now if I remember Spencer correctly, that's leechy boy, right? Man made out of leeches. He got like backstabbed or some shit. God. Really? Okay. Ugh, that thing's nasty. I don't even want to look at it. Hold up. This is Evelyn. Evelyn at the research center. Does she fucking disguise herself? My Eva, it's been 100 years since I lost you, the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now I can bring you back from life with the mega, with the mega mycite. I have to test your new vessels, regenerative abilities. Took a part of reviving the mega mycite regulation and giant chalice, blah, blah. All that's left to all that's to merge her with the Mega site. The ceremony can be filled. After I lost you, I was stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. So I, so I waited to be with you again. And then when I found the Mega site completely by accident, when I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega site breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. 
Oh god, what? Okay. So she has the knowledge of a thousand dead people, that's great. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then it would be a way to bring you back. I just need the right vessel when I return. Wait, what? The consciousness? So, oh. When I return to the village, I implanted villagers with mold from the magmycite. That way I can control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find the perfect vessel. Vessel? Ugh. Just to find the perfect vessel. <laughs> just to find the perfect vessel. I've been tried to increase the efficiency of finding the vessel by creating a parasite I called Kadao. Yet, none of my experiments came to fruition. There's, there were some like Alcina who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. So Evelyn was created in her image. Oh... Then again, not a complete failure, I learned that Rose, thanks to them, oh, I've learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be a perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Eva, I have waited too long to see you again. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, Mother Miranda. You hit different. <laughs> Lady D still hitting different, but Mother Miranda, you got something. You got something I want. <laughs> Alright, Miranda, what the hell? Oh, wait, no. It's Mia. My bad. I'm sorry. Where is Miranda right now? Mia, you're alive! It really is you. I'm glad you're safe, Mia. Why are you here? I was caught. Used in experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait! You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is gone. She killed that motherfucker. He did a lot, though, for you. But I can save Rose. Damn, dude. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? She killed him. He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. Maybe you can use your mold abilities and save him. Destroy this village. No, you're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. What did you do to him? Ethan's alive, baby! Bring him back! <laughs> back from the dead! <gasps> did my hand regenerate? Fuck yeah! Where'd the ring come from, though? Oh, I'm just hallucinating. I'm in the after death. I'm in the after death? My bad, the afterlife. Evelyn, where the fuck are you? That's your laugh. I know your laugh from anywhere. What'd you do to me, Evelyn? You fucking in my brain? How did I get here? God, freezing. Shit! My body! You're so dumb. 
What the hell, Evelyn? What did you do to me? I'm not dead, you're dead. Dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Rose? It wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. Uh, Miranda didn't kill you. I did. Did you kill me, Evelyn? You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? I knew it was weird. Remember? How he just banged his fucking hand on the goddamn wall? Three years ago. <laughs> when he got his fucking fingers cut off? What the fuck? Now do you get it? Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Family. Family. No. Rose, I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> I, I will save Rose. <laughs> So they were testing. They were testing Mia for the mold, but they never tested Ethan. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Damn, Duke. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are Is he a Wesker? Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. What the hell, Duke? Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer.
Man, Duke, you's a cool guy. I have to be. I gotta go. All right, big man. Emporium has everything you need for your decisive battle. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, I get the stuff that uh Chris gave. Oh, what do you got to say about Heisenberg? Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. All right. Cigar. I want to see if you had something to say about that, but I guess not. And I have no uh no use for this anymore, I guess. Give him the business. This is a shotgun. What is this? Long barrel. For what? For for this? No. For this. Hmm. Increases ammo capacity. Doesn't matter because I don't got shit. I just wanted to see what happened if I clicked on that. All right, well, uh... <sighs> because of all this commotion, I've lost an entire territory to transact in. Hmm? What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. Hmm. This is my shotgun. I'm gonna up its power. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. Vegeta. What's the scouter say about its power level? <laughs> Give me some shotgun shells. A yes, bunch of ammo. See why you'd be interested in that. If this is my decisive battle, then I'm going out with a fucking bang. Please be well. Thanks. I wish I got to hang out with the Duke a little bit more. What's this stuff? Explosive rounds. Anything else around me that I should pick up? Hmm. Alright. So I got this. This. I'm gonna shortcut this. Five of those. Uh, crafting. All I can really make is bombs and shotgun shells, but I'll hold on to it just in case I pick up some stuff. All right, let's go. Come on, Mother Miranda. I wish I could run. <laughs> There we go. I ain't got time to play around with these guys. I gotta keep going. I got a fucking daughter to save, baby. It's my baby girl over there. Ah, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. That's Rose. My power is leaving me. Rose! Miranda! Sephiroth! <laughs> Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Give Rose to me. Now! You will see. Once I kill you properly, every- yeah, Oh, no! shit. <laughs> Let go. 
Oh shit, that's not good. And you try to take it away from me. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled. No. Rose is mine. What the fuck? Oh, that's cool. You fulfilled your purpose. That looks so fucking cool. Fuck. Now, please do not worry for little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with. God, when push comes to shove. Ow, fuck. Where the fuck? Oh shit! You die. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. Alright. Now, what is this? May not be human, but at least I'm not a bitch. <laughs> that was an awesome comeback. Ah, fuck. Your time is up. Now die. I wonder if I can get her to fall. If I hit her enough. When she's up there. Oh shit. Where the fuck? After all, everyone dies. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Was that my last health? I think it was. I don't got nothing else for it. Oh fuck. Where the fuck? How the hell am I supposed to get rid of that? Oh fuck, move! Move, Ethan! Is there anything in here for me to pick up? What's this? I got ammo. Oh shit. Keep it moving, Ethan. Keep it moving. Stay in the move. Feel the dark god's wrath. What the fuck? Stop it, Ethan. Get her. Ah! Oh. Oh, dude, did she turn into a fucking spider? Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, rest now. The hell I will. I will take back my daughter! Damn bitch. <laughs> die, 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 die. If I combine... 
I rose with a mega my seat. My daughter will be made manifest at last. Well, it's not your daughter. A century. It's my daughter. And you can't have her. I say no. Why won't you die? I don't know, why won't you? Keep moving, Ethan. The fire won't hurt you. I will see my hopes for you. I must. Oh! This is... For my daughter. Fuck. Start running, Ethan. <laughs> ah, fuck. Such Damn, lady, how many hits do you fucking take? Ever think the problem might be you, Miranda? You're not capable of real love. Do I have unlimited heal juice? <laughs> Cause I got a lot. Oh! Your life is over, Mr. Why do you still fight? I fight because I have a family. And I love my family. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't think that would hit me. Shit. Oh! Where are you at? Where are you going? I understand your feelings, Mr. This is the end. I will take back my daughter. Oh, she has Lady Dimitrescu's long fingers. Back to the middle. Okay, what do I have? Oh, I'm out of heal juices. You won't oh. I will not let him or Can you die? Or my dog from me. Oh god, I'm not making I'm not making it through this. <laughs> oh fuck. Hold still. Why do you persist in Ah oh, fucking hell? You die already, please. <laughs> Woo! This is how you end the murders. To ensure I never see your face again, I will see. <laughs> I don't have to reload. Get her. Shoot the bitch. Kill her. Since when the fuck did Resident Evil become Final Fantasy? <laughs> what the fuck? 
What did I just play? <laughs> My baby! My baby girl, why do you remind me of the Duke? Something me ain't telling me? That's the Duke's child. Aw, oh, shit. Are they gonna show his face? Even though they technically already did in like Resident Evil 7, but for some reason they're hiding it now. Ethan. Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Damn, Chris, your fat ass took all the time in the world. Chris, I must sacrifice myself to let you escape. Don't worry. I'll defend you, Chris. Leave me behind. Shouldn't you blow that up by now, Chris? Don't you got a bomb in that thing? Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Uh, hey. Uh, I'm aging faster than fucking Snake here. Can you tell yourself? Now, come on, it's not that much further. <laughs> Look at my fingers. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just looked funny to me. He's like an alien. I've been playing too much Mass Effect. Goodbye, Rosemary. Mia, you're hella sus. You've been fucking a corpse. Go, take us up now. What the hell? Wait, where's Ethan? Is the baby half zombie? Get moving. We have to get clear. No, we can't go. Not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. He is. Dead. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? You know, Mia, that's really that's really great coming from you. Tell me what's going on, huh? Miss, I'm gonna keep secrets so that I'm fucking a corpse. Get the hell out of here. What was that? I told you to sit down. I thought he was going to backhand the shit out of her. I really did. I was like, whoa, Chris, hold up. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. 
Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Someone's gotta pay. Where's the Duke? What happened to that guy? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this game? Village of Shadows. Oh, I get it now. It's the storybook. Oh, man. Twitch better not fucking mute this shit because of the song. I swear to God. Well, that's Resident Evil 8. Now, I was warned that don't skip the credits because there's something that happens after it. So I'm not going to do that. But, um... That was Resident Evil 8. Oh my god, that is a good game. That is a good game. One that I keep saying that I'm never gonna replay this shit again after that baby shit that happened. But, uh, oh god, what is this fucking- what are these lyrics? This is like goth music. Like actual, like, proper goth music. I like this. <laughs> I like this. I'm gonna look up the soundtrack afterwards. It's amazing. And then you got the crystal skulls. And you got the fish, which was Monroe. Who's the Reaper? I wonder who the Reaper was. Was that supposed to be Heisenberg? The fish is obviously Monroe. There's also like a horse or something. Oh, the horse is Heisenberg. The horse is Heisenberg. The horse is Heisenberg. The... I'm guessing the Reaper is probably... It's probably, uh... It's probably Donna. And the bad is Dimitrescu. Okay. And then there's Mother Miranda. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter. So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Even Dude. now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Hello, my dear. So they didn't finish the story in the beginning. Oh, shit. I literally just got chills from that. That's awesome. I love storybook type shit. All right, well, that's Resident Evil 8. This game definitely has its flaws. One of the things I keep saying how, like, Ethan repossesses himself. Also, there's, like... The gameplay style is weird because they're, like... They're, like, oh, here's the rate of fire for your guns, but there's really no reason for... How the game plays is really no reason to have like a long ass rate of fire because the game the game encourages you to like kind of just shoot and get it over with and the rate of fire is just kind of there to hinder you especially shotgun shotgun's a little a little confusing um we did not sadly we had our fair share of bugs first of all uh lady Beneviento's like monastery or whatever that never opened for me when it was supposed to and then you guys said that I missed a boss fight so sadly I won't be able to experience that maybe if I replay it on my own I keep saying I'm not gonna replay this game but I probably will probably like a couple of months down the road I won't stream it I'll just do it on my own but 
Yeah, but thank you. Damn. <laughs> I wanted to finish the game tonight because I know I wouldn't be able to stream later today, but I didn't think it would take this long. Wow, that last that last third of the game is is great. Can I take a look at mercenary mode next? Uh, not, not this stream because I already went past my streaming time by like 40 minutes. Usually I end around six. I'm, I'm over here on the East coast, but Dan, I, every time I look at that storybook shit, I want them. I want a movie like that. <laughs> that shit is so great. That's a Tim Burton ass movie. That fucking storybook. What is that? But yeah, fucking Mia's weird. Can I say this? They're like, I don't know who to blame in this game. I'm beyond. Of course, we can all blame fucking uh, Mother Miranda, but I don't know who really to blame. Chris could have easily, within two seconds, said, "Oh, that's not your wife. That's a that's a that's a lady." By the way, this post credit thing. Yeah, I said that. Somebody told me about that. So I'm not going to skip it. I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to skip it. Why is the child dead? What the fuck am I looking at right here? Whoa. <laughs> What's going on? Some crazy shit. I want to know what happened. I want to know what happened to Duke. Yeah, Chris is kind of a douche. He's an asshole in this game. You can skip the actual credits. Okay. And the post credits will still play. Well, I don't want to script the... Uh, usually, I try not to skip the credits, just so, you know, we can give proper thanks to the people who made the game. Right? And it gives me time to talk about the game. But, um... I do like the direction in, that the story is going. I do like that. I like that Evelyn definitely, uh... There's some... Some consequences to suffer from that, because Ethan was super exposed to the mold, but I didn't think that Jack killed him. I thought it was just more like... Evelyn somehow survived by wiggling herself in there. Um, it's a good game. It's very short for, uh, well, I say it's very short, but when you think about other Resident Evil games and, like, how you go through them, it seems like it's more on the shorter side. And I, I gotta say, even though remakes were short too, yeah, they were. Yeah, remake too. But you also had like Claire, Claire A, and and uh, Leon B, and stuff like that. Jill's uh, Resident Evil Three that was really short. They cut a lot of things, and I can see why people are angry about that. But uh, I liked it. I like Resident Evil Three remake. Four seemed to be the longest. Yep, definitely. Unless you're talking about Dark Side Chronicles, because Dark Side Chronicles is the longest because fucking you just want to kill yourself half the time playing that game. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> They had Marvin in it, though. That's when Marvin, like, got his big role. He's like, Marvin, don't make me shoot you. <laughs> but, um... But, I gotta say, e even though I liked, uh... The Dollhouse, and I liked... Even though I don't... I don't want to revisit that place, but I do like what they did there. I gotta say, I am disappointed, because... It's a fucking dollhouse, and you expected, I don't know, to deal with more of the dolls? The baby was- I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to go back in the previous, uh, <laughs> in the previous stream and clip the moment when I actually got super terrified. Cause, I'm be honest, I gotta say, I feel bad for anybody watching that part of me going through that house. It took me like an hour to get through there because I was just so scared I couldn't move. This is one of the few games that legitimately actually made me terrified, and that's mainly because I kept remembering shit from PT, and it made me made me even more scared. That, and I was sleep deprived. <laughs> but uh, damn, I got through it though. Yeah, but that baby was cool as shit. I I like it. I don't ever want to see it again. Um. I gotta talk to SP when I see that motherfucker. He lied to me. He said this game wasn't scary. He's a son of a bitch for that. And, uh... <laughs> I just wish they did more with the doll stuff. Monroe's place was alright. Alright, I'm gonna shut up now. Is that Rose? Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? If he can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? 
Okay, then you can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. Wait, no, that's a, that's someone watching over them. Who the fuck is that? This is Rose, right? Did I get eaten by the baby? No, I didn't. <laughs> I fucking, I hell nod out of there. <laughs> what a patty, by the way. Listen, I don't want to say anything because it's kind of weird to be like, I saved my baby a girl. And then it's like years later, Sorry, look at this chick. This what do you want me to say? <laughs> You know how it is. How old is she anyway? Was she a college student? Zach. Goddamn devil. Duty calls. Duty calls. I love you. Do you join up with Chris? Seems about twenty two ish. Did she pull a Moira? We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it was just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. She's a super bioweapon. Why the fuck would you even do that? What the f Who is this guy? You're a lot like him, you know. She visits her father grave, who's who it's Evelyn's fault that he's dead, and he goes, Oh, hey, how's it going, Evelyn? What a, what the fuck? What did you expect? It was just a joke, bro. <laughs> Your dad's dead. What? <laughs> Idiot. Fucking moron. What the fuck? <laughs> that car is no longer moving by the way wait does she get out and walk wait what wait hold up the father's story is now done why you gotta do Ethan dirty like that what was the point Am I supposed to press something? I'm going to press something. Oh, there you go. Difficulty standard, 10 hours. Didn't feel like 10 hours. Great dad, you're damn right. Best dad ever. What is that for? Finish the story with at least standard difficulty. Oh, okay, it's just difficulty stuff. Hmm. Okay. New difficulty is available. It's like you start a new game. Extra content shop. Concept art figures challenges. Complete challenges listed. CP can exchange for a variety of bonuses. Hmm. Village of Shadow full version created the... Okay, creating the Village of Shadows. Love design. Oh, wait. Are these like movies? Oh, these are movies. Okay. Special weapon now. Motherfucker said, don't use the... Don't use the Magnum. You're gonna need it. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't your Magnum. <laughs> okay overwrite complete save yeah of course why not take it from the top maybe next time I'll get ever I'll be able to fight the fucking helicopter guy could have used it against Miranda I could have but I did just fine it was thematic I had no more healing had no more health left she was on her last leg I was on mine it fit perfectly with the story yeah but Resident Evil Village can't say I still I'm gonna need more time with this one I can't say if it's like one of my favorite Resident Evils but it's a damn good one for sure uh and definitely this is gonna have kind of like a resurgence like how Persona 5 just went like hey everybody likes Persona now 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 finally everyone's gonna start liking Resident Evil especially with Lady D and that's quite something in 2021 it is Especially when you're like, 
here's a first person shooter game with zombie like creatures. Go nuts, I guess. Right? Because how many fucking zombie games there are that I just, oh God, I don't want to get into it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, Resident Evil is definitely good. There are some things that, again, are a little disappointed, a uh, little disappointed with. Uh, Heisenberg is fine. I liked everything about him. He was great. Lady Deaths was good, but, uh, I wish, haven't heard that before so novel <laughs> i wish that you had more to do with lady dimitrask and the daughter specifically because you just walked in the room and it's like the daughter's there kill them they're by goodbye now like they really had no character to them besides like they're the hot daughters and then fucking after that you read their file it's like oh do you know that they're they're just nothing but bugs though and i'm like oh okay yeah, there was no build up to it. It just happens. They have like the one scene where you run away from one of them, right? And that was it. And then even Lady Demitrescu herself didn't have that much build up. She had like what two cutscenes before she became like a, you know, kind of like a hall monitor walking around, and she really didn't have anything to do. She was really easy to avoid, unlike Jack Baker, right? Where like he's come busting through walls and shit. And, like, he has a bunch of fucking lines depending on what you do. Like, like there's a line that he has where if you keep ducking under his shovel, he goes like, oh, you trying to make a fool out of me, boy. And he's fucking, he starts, like, swinging the shovel differently. But, uh, yeah, there's really not that much of Lady Dimitrescu, and it's kind of sad. Um, especially since this is the only time we're ever going to see her. Uh... I don't know what the fuck the deal was with that ceremonial knife. We just stabbed her and then we lost the knife and it's like, guess I'll never get that again. Also, you can't revisit her area or uh, or Donna's house. And again, Donna was, it was great, but, you know. What, I gotta say, my favorite character in here is actually not even any of the main four. It's, well, I guess technically it's one of the main four, but it's Angie the doll. I really like Angie. I wanted more Angie. <laughs> also, what a patty. <laughs> Listen, Demi Trescu can do whatever she wants. I ain't gonna say no. Okay, maybe not whatever she wants. I have limits. But she can do a lot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, I I actually want more of Angie. Right? Because I, I don't know why, but I just really like the doll. Which is weird because usually dolls creep me the fuck out. Especially like the porcelain ones. Little Victorian dolls, right? But it's weird that in the doll house you barely hang out with the dolls. Again, which is also weird because you read her file and it says that she ha she has the cadows throughout all her dolls so she can control them. Then why the fuck wouldn't she use it? Annabelle looking ass, exactly. She is, isn't she, uh, based off, like, the Conjuring ser series? Lady Demitres is based off of, uh, off of, uh, what is it? Oh, I can't remember her name. I said it during the first stream. The, uh, the actual real life, real life, uh, mistress, or whatever, not mistress, I keep, where the fuck? Lady, uh, I can't remember, her name started with a B. Lady Bantry or something like that? I can't remember. Something like that. She's based off of that, and she's also based off of the, uh, the fucking eight feet tall Japanese ghost that wears, like, the sundress and, like, the, you know, the sun hat. And she goes after children. Because, <laughs> like, the whole entire time you're uh, hanging out with her, she's all like, my child! Elizabeth Bathory. Thank you. Yes. She's based off Elizabeth Bathory, and she's also based off of the, uh, the ghost, which is, like, I, I can't remember her name either. It's like a long ass name, but it's like the eight feet tall ghost that like usually goes after kids. But um, it's a Japanese thing. Heisenberg, he's just like, yo, you ever played Bloodborne? And how about that Magneto, huh? That's cool. <laughs> and then Slenderman. No, not Slenderman. It's uh, Slenderman. Slenderman was garbage. I don't know why people liked Slender Slenderman either. And whatever the fuck this new dumb shit called Siren Head or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the hell that's about. It's stupid. The only thing God's going for it. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's just like Slender Man. 
he's so scary. And I'm like, he's just a lengthy ass dude with no face. He's a mannequin. I see that shit every night when I'm, when I'm doing security work for the mall. Right. Um, fuck. I forgot what I was even saying earlier. <laughs> I got off track, but, um, yeah. And I don't, I don't even know what Monroe is based off of. I guess like the creature of the black lagoon or whatever. Like, I guess that's it, really. He was kind of lame. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I guess Moreau is supposed to be lame, but he was, like, really lame. <laughs> he's like, he's a fish monster. And it's like, well, does it look super scary? No, it's just a fish monster. He's like, oh, okay. That's cool. It was fun, though. It was fun having, like, a nice little puzzle area, though. Can't say it was completely bad. It really wasn't. Um... But yeah, I hope, I hope they uh, bring more diversity like this into the next Resident Evil or whatever. Hell, I didn't even play Reverse yet, and I have that, so maybe that's fun, or maybe it's shitty. Who knows? Well, I say who knows. Probably a lot of people know by now. And speaking of Resident Evil, uh, earlier today, Dead by Daylight had their announcement for the Resident Evil crossover. I think uh, Jill and Leon are going to be playable characters for Survivors, and then. Um, and then the uh, killer is Nemesis. So that's going to be cool to see how that plays out. And yeah. Resident Evil 8. Good ass game. Happy that I played it. Happy that I bought it. Uh, happy that it didn't cost 70 fucking dollars. Um, what the hell are we doing game series? Should have gone with Lady D. <laughs> Should have gone with Lady D. But they needed, like, a memorable face. Lady D is too new. And Lady D is definitely never going to come back. So. She's like, Lady D right now, is she's on, like, Bowsette status. Where, like, people will remember her. But, you know, give it, like, another month or two. They're going to stop talking about her. Right? And it sucks. Because Lady D is awesome. And we all love Lady D. The tall lady. She's great. Listen, I'm just saying out there, tall women... You out there saying no man, no man's love tall women. You going after the wrong men. That's all I'm saying, man. You out here talking about, I want him to be six feet tall, like 3% of the population. And you want to be handsome and rich. That's like 1% of the population. What's wrong with you? You better get yourself a short man. Trust me, get yourself a shorter man. You, probably, you get all up in the, in the crevices, all up in the spots. He ain't missing nothing. He's going to examine everything. <laughs> she's certainly the lady of my tea. Goes to show how secretly we like them tall, thick women. Secretly? I was never secret about it for me. I was like, oh yeah, I like them tall. What man, hold up. If there's a guy who's like, I don't like a tall lady, my question is, how did you grow up? Because usually women, like during like, you know, puberty and stuff, usually women are taller than men. And then men catch up later. So how the fuck did they grow up? <laughs> I don't get it. Super short girls are awesome too. They are awesome. They are awesome. But I'm just saying, they're both awesome in their own right. But I'm saying, it don't matter. Short, tall. Listen. We ain't picky. We just want someone to care for. <laughs> get a tall drink of water. <laughs> Sometimes you need a short refreshment. <laughs> but yeah. Resident Evil is great. Resident Evil, it was fun. It was great. It's amazing. Hopefully I'll edit this. I'll find some time to edit this and upload this on YouTube. I gotta do this this week. I have like a bunch. I have like what? What is it like? Fucking. What is it? It's Uncharted. The Phoenix Wright stuff. The Conception stuff. Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 7. I have like five different playthroughs that I have to upload on YouTube plus Resident Evil 8 that I've just been sitting on my computer. So I have to edit all this shit and put it on YouTube uh, for later. <laughs> the ones you can just put on the fridge when arguing. Oh, God. Just like, just sit you up there. Get down by yourself. All right. Mm, it was a good game. It's a good game I've been talking for like what 20 minutes 
I actually, I was actually thinking that like, you know, once the shit was over, it's like, oh, I'll be finished in like an hour or two and then maybe play a little bit of Mass Effect 2 because that's where I'm at right now with the trilogy, but you know, but that's it. So, Resident Evil Village, this is done. Next time we come back on the stream, I'm actually going to be continuing. We're going to be heading back to Phoenix Wright so we can start and hopefully finish it's not going to happen in one stream it'll probably happen in two but so we can start and finish the last chapter of trials and tribulations because it's been long enough and we need to do that and then after that once we're done with phoenix right we're going to move over back to conception our little baby maker rpg anime shit it's weird it's a weird game but i love it and then uh after that, I'll see I'll see what we have cooking in the works. Until then, like I said before, I don't have a set schedule right now because I'm getting I'm getting hit left and right with with extra shifts uh, from work. So for like maybe that'll last for like another week. But whenever I do have free time, I'll try and do this. And then um yeah, other than that, on YouTube. I'm going to try uploading the playthroughs that I have because they need to be uploaded. And then uh, that's it. There's nothing else other than that. Just, you know, other than that, it's just, you know, we got the emotes. So for people who want those, you don't have to sub to get the emotes. Uh, oh, by the way, forgot, got to say it. Um, there's a free extension called BTTV. Download that on your browser. It's not a virus or nothing. It's fine. It integrates with your Twitch. You get access to some emotes, some animated emotes. Great. And if you do that, you get access to the Chad Wellington emote because that's beautiful. Um, and then uh, the other two emotes that we got, which is fucking uh, Fireflow and Propatine because we love them. So there's that. But yeah, you don't have to sub to have any of that. You just have the channel points. And if you have BTTV, you get the animated emote and like a bunch of other emotes that I get from the community for free. And uh, yeah, so there's that. And I think that's all I really have to say. Until then, I'm going to throw myself at some Mass Effect and head into the shadows of Final Fantasy fourteen. Because I gotta go run some raids. <laughs> like a fucking nerd. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah. For those who came to watch live, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. For those watching the VODs later on, thank you as well. Hope that I'm entertaining enough, even though I'm not live. Uh, if you can, try to make time to interact with me. And for those on YouTube, I apologize that it takes forever for me to upload this shit. But, you know... If you want it faster, come on over to Twitch. You should, you should do that. You should, you should check that link in the description. You should do that. That's crazy. It's a link. You press. It's a blue thing. It's in blue. You press it, and it sends you over here, and it goes. Oh man, look at all this shit. This is crazy. It's amazing. There's playthroughs that aren't even on YouTube yet. It's crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for tonight. I say tonight, but it's morning now. But that's it for today. Next time we come back, more Phoenix Wright. And then, uh, yeah. So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. For those who are watching this on your birthday, happy birthday. Hope you have a lovely day, or hope you had a lovely day. And, you know, as always, I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Chef, chef, too.